in late August. While Andrew Johnston will get the start for Gary this afternoon, he's a right-hander. Rick Forney admitted he tried to get him here to Winnipeg, but he ended up going to Gary. He's from St. Louis, Missouri. He is a veteran by classification. Pitched in AAA last year in the Colorado system. He was in Colorado Springs at AAA in the PCL. 6'5", 205, and he is 28 years old. Andrew Johnston makes his fourth start, 0-2 with a 4.50 ERA, 16 innings, 19 hits, 8 earned runs, 2 walks, 10 strikeouts, and the opposition batting 292 against him. But the ERA, 4.5, and, and he does not have a victory this season. He is 0-2 in three starts. On the other side, for Winnipeg, it will be Ace Walker. And Walker, in his fifth year with the Gold Eyes, is from Sparks, Oklahoma. He's a veteran as well. 6'1", 180, 28 years old, a right-hander. He started on opening night here on Tuesday. He was excellent. He'll make his fourth start, fifth appearance. He's 1-0 with a 3.45 ERA. 15 and two-thirds innings, 14 hits, six earned runs, three walks, 11 strikeouts, opposition batting, 237 against him. So a couple of right-handed veterans on the mound for both Winnipeg and Gary here this afternoon. That's it for our pregame show for Winnipeg Insurance. We'll take a timeout to pause for the anthems when we come back. Starting lineups, first pitch. Gold Eyes, Gary, the finale on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Don't just tune up your car this spring. Tune up your golf swing, too, at the Golf Dome. While outdoor ranges go through the snow to slush to swamp to skeeter cycle, you can be honing your swing for spring inside at the Golf Dome. Get the edge with golf lessons on the driving range or hit courses from around the world with the Golf Dome's virtual golf simulators. So next time you think about a spring tune-up for this, be sure to make time for a tune-up for this. The Golf Dome, the bubble just off Sterling Lion Parkway. Your barbecue would like a word with you. Turkey. No, it's not calling you a turkey. It's merely suggesting that Granny's fresh turkey pieces make a great change of taste on the barbecue. Fast, convenient, delicious, and packed with nutrition, Granny's turkey pieces are the perfect way to add sensible sizzle to your barbecuing. Take it from the one who really knows. Granny's turkey goes great on the barbecue. Granny's turkey. Great taste, healthy living. If I said to you, you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? Well, not if you got the body work done at Moray Auto Body, because beautiful body work is what they do best. They're not part of some giant chain, so they treat every customer like their only customer, and that means attention to detail like you wouldn't believe. Frame straightening, expert refinishing, even boat repairs, painting, and deckling. Moray Auto Body does it all and does it right. Really right. Right where you'd expect them to be, at 700 Moray. These guys hit it right out of the park. You like to shop around and ask, Is that the best you can do? So do we. When it comes to windows, Best Windows and Doors doesn't go with just a single manufacturer. We shop around. Only the best quality, efficiency, and warranty will do. And only a few have it all. And that's all you'll find at Best Windows. So go ahead, shop around and ask, Is that the best you can do? No doubt you'll find your way to Best Windows and Doors, where the best is all we do. 1676 St. James. You've got the best seat in the house, your house. With live gold eyes coverage you can take anywhere, only on TSN 1290. Now, back to the voice of the gold eyes, Paul Edmonds. Starting lineups are brought to you by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Fans, when you visit the Sky Suite level at Shaw Park, make sure and stop and relax in one of the three Lazy Boy comfort zones. Each Lazy Boy comfort zone is fully furnished with the latest Lazy Boy sofas, love seats, and coffee tables, along with their world-famous recliners. Winnipeg Gold Eyes would like to thank Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, located at 1425 Ellis Avenue, for their support. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries live life comfortably. Well, Ace Walker gets the start. The Gold Eyes wearing that red top, representing the Hamiota Red Sox, who were inducted into the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame last night. It's Hall of Fame Day here at the ballpark and the gold eyes will make this an annual it is the inaugural hall of fame game soon to be an annual once they get into year two adam klein will lead it off for gary they are all in green green tops green pants light and then a darker green sock gold eyes in that red top 
white pants, and dark blue socks. Adam Klein is in left. He leads it off. Mike Massaro bats second for Gary out in right. The DH is Mike Coles. He hits third. Former major leaguer Rico Washington bats cleanup. He is at third base. And Sean Smith starts in center field for the second straight game. Kyle Haynes batting sixth at short. Then Mike Rohde batting seventh at first. Greg Maddox to catch hitting eighth. David Cooper rounds out the lineup for Greg Taggart batting ninth and playing second. That lineup again, Klein, Massaro, Coles, Washington, Smith, Haynes, Rohde, Maddox, Cooper, and Klein steps in from the left-hand side to get this one underway this afternoon. Walker kicks and comes home, and the first pitch is on the inside edge for a strike, and we're underway at 136 this afternoon. Glad to have you along across the network. 36 minutes after 1 o'clock, and it's strike one. The 0-1. Change up is on the outside edge for a strike, and it's nothing in two. And today's opening pitch brought to you by the Greenwood Inn and Suites. Make the Greenwood Inn and Suites your home base for all your accommodation, dining, and meeting needs in Winnipeg. The 0-2. Breaking ball is low. One ball and two strikes. Call toll-free today or any day, 888-233-6730. One and two to Adam Klein. He's two for seven in the series. One-two pitch. Change up a little bit low. Two balls and two strikes. Klein... Had a couple of hits the other night and was 0 for 3 with two walks yesterday. 2-2, swung on, hit sharply out towards short, gobbled up nicely by Naradowski, throw to first. It pulled Mazzola off the bag, but it looked like he got a tag off Klein on the way by. And they say that Klein is safe and Mazzola will argue vehemently, but the Gold Eyes are not going to be able to change the call from Mike O'Leary over at first base. Well, that will be an error charged on Naradowski, E6. So not a good start for Winnipeg defensively. You cannot give Gary extra outs. It's one thing with all the other teams in the league. Fargo's another one of those teams that are opportunists with extra outs. But Gary has made a... They built a franchise on it since 2005. Here's Massaro, first pitch, is on the outside edge for a strike. So underway at 136 today, Chaz Stadola is our home plate umpire. He calls the balls and strikes as the sun is out. And we'll get you the weather. It's windy here in downtown today. And Walker comes set the pitch. Change up, swung on and missed, and it's nothing in two. Mike O'Leary over at first. And Joe Pascucci is at third. He's the crew chief. So Stadola calling the balls and strikes. O'Leary at first, Pascucci is at third, an all-American crew here for this homestand that Winnipeg involves itself in for the first time in 2012. 0-2 is just off the table, one ball and two strikes. Mazzaro, three for eight in the series, hitting 245. And a left-handed batter. Drove in a run yesterday, 4-0, Gary won, the 1-2. Swung on, ground ball out towards short. Naradowski feeds to Kendall for one, down to one for two in time. There you go. Six, four, three, double play. And an easy pick up for Naradowski. Good feed to Kendall at second. Good turn by Kendall to first. And there's two down. And nobody on for Mike Coles. Defensively for Winnipeg today, Luis Allen does the catching again. He has started in 14 of 15 games as the catcher for Winnipeg. Josh Mazzola missed two games. He's back playing as a starter today at first base. First pitch to Coles. Showed bunt, pulled back, took low ball one. Price Kendall at second. David David Naradowski at short. Sarundel DeCaster is at third. Then Ridge Carpenter, Chris Roberson, and Dan Barbero left to right in the field. The 1 0 is in there for a strike, and it's 1 and 1. Mike Coles, 2 for 8 in the series with a strikeout. His two hits came last night. He was 2 for 4, had a good night. Walked twice, stole a base, scored a run. Right handed batter, the 1 1. Is on the outside edge for a strike. Good change up, and it's 1 and 2. Coles is the DH today. 
Ace Walker trying to follow up with a second good start here at home. He had a dandy on Tuesday the 29th. And a win over Amarillo. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Swung on, and that is fouled back toward the screen, over it, and into the seats. And a fan just about made a one-handed catch. Had a little help from a fellow fan, but does have the souvenir, and it's a ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. To Mike Coles. Started with Gary, then went to Fargo, now back with Gary. Been around for a few years. The one-two pitch. Breaking ball, swung on, hacked foul at the plate. And we do it again. Bold eyes with a red top with Hamiota in block letters on the front. Donnie Smith, former Gold Eye, went into the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame in Morden last night. We'll have Jack Callum with the Hall of Fame on later in the broadcast. And a fastball on the outside edge for a cold third strike. And Coles will go down looking, and he will get in the ear of Jazz Stadola, arguing balls and strikes here. And I don't know how you stay in the game. Now he's pointing to the right side batter's box, and Stadola will walk away. Boy, Gary has been, well, we saw Adam Klein get run on Friday night. This time, Coles goes down looking. Strikeout number one for Ace Walker. That strikeout by Ace brought to you by Manitoba Hydro. Manitoba Hydro reminds you to be safe around electricity. Folks, one strike and you're out. No runs, no hits, one error for Winnipeg. Nobody left for Gary. At the end of a half, they come away empty. The Gold Eyes are coming to bat when we return to downtown Winnipeg on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Your best friend may be furry, but they're part of your family. So when it comes to your pet's health, they deserve to be treated like family at Animal Hospital of Manitoba. Their experienced professionals provide the very latest in veterinary care. For cats, dogs, ferrets, rabbits, just about any pet you can imagine. And they take pride in educating clients and following up to make sure your best friend is doing just fine. Animal Hospital of Manitoba, 995 Main Street. We care for your pets as if they were our own. Mmm, nice and fresh. Ah, just the way I like it. Mmm, this is really good. Ah, that hits the spot. The spot to hear all that content. Our very own fishbowl. The reason? Robbins. Smart coffee lovers count on the famous, always fresh taste of Robbins coffee to add extra zest to every Gold Ice game. Team it with a Robbins fresh baked treat, and you've got, well, a flavor double header. Robbins. Fast, fresh, and friendly. When you order a meal, you ask questions. Does this go with a nice red? It's the same when you buy a car. Does it come in a nice red? But do you ever ask questions about your health care? Just take these three times a day. Yeah, all right, sure. Patient safety is everyone's concern. Health care is a big, complex system, and sometimes things happen that aren't planned. Get involved. Speak up. Ask questions. The Manitoba Institute for Patient Safety website has more information on how you can learn to be safe. Bottom of the first inning, we welcome you back. Bryce Kendall to lead it off for Winnipeg. No score in the baseball game. Goldeye step up to the plate for the first time this afternoon. Kendall, Chris Roberson, John Weber, the DH, to face right-hander Andrew Johnston. First pitch is on the inside edge for a strike. And the bottom of the second is underway. And then it's DeCaster, Allen... Barbero, Mazzola, Carpenter, Naradowski, 0-1. Swung on, that is crushed. Left center field, Klein going back at the warning track, and he will back up and make the catch, turning and facing us, and a step onto the track, and Price Kendall is out number one. Boy, I had a thought that that might have got by Klein and got to the alley. Instead, the wind pushed it over to Klein as we have a heavy wind blowing from right to left, and that's exactly what happened. The wind pushed it over toward the left fielder. Otherwise, if it stays true, it gets by him, goes to the gap. It's extra bases for sure for Price Kendall. Here's Chris Roberson. First pitch is swung on and lined right back up the middle for a base hit. 
So the Gold Eyes have come out swinging here and a one-out single, and Roberson has hit number three in eight trips in this series. And the batter is John Weber. Let's have a look at the defensive alignment first for Gary, then we'll get you caught up in the weather. For the rail catch today, Craig Maddox is catching. He's the other half of the battery he catches for the first time in this series. Ryan Babineau caught the previous two games last night and Friday night. Mike Rohde is holding on. Roberson over at first. He did not play last night. He factors back in at first after playing and starting on Friday night. Weber stands in, and now Johnson will step off. And we'll have a bit of a delay. David Cooper playing at second base for the first time in the series. Kyle Haynes is at short. He's played all three games now. Rico Washington is at third base. Then Adam Klein, Sean Smith, Mike Massaro left to right in the field. And a throw goes over to first base. And diving back in safely is Chris Roberson. And Gary thought that they got Roberson on the back with the tag by Rody Roberson, I mean... He dove right in like he was making a splash dive into a pool in the 100-meter or 400-meter front crawl. No pitch yet to Weber. Had a hit streak in last night. Runner on the move. Pitch is swung on, bounced out toward first. Fielded by Rohde. Throws to second for one. And nobody's at the bag to cover for Weber getting there for Gary. And Weber will be safe as Roberson will be out. So Weber hits into a fielder's choice, and the out will go 3-6. But Rohde was off the bag to make the play, and Johnston was late getting off the mound to cover. So the Gold Eyes get a bit of a break, and you don't see that very often by Gary making a defensive mistake on positioning. Two down for Surrundle DeCaster. Let's have a look at the weather report brought to you by 360 Winnipeg.ca, Winnipeg's visual directory to win tickets to upcoming Winnipeg Gold Eyes games. Go to 360winnipeg.ca and enter to win. And Greg Taggart's going to come out and argue. I think his contention is that Roberson had runner interference on the shortstop Kyle Haynes, and he was late in trying to throw the ball. But again... There was nobody at the bag to cover the bag, and Weber was there in advance of Andrew Johnston. Here's DeCaster, and the first pitch to him is inside ball one. Right now, we have partly sunny skies. We have blue sky over us, and it is sunny on the field, but there's lots of cloud around us and thick stuff as well. 1-0. Swung on, hit out towards short, up with it, Haynes. He goes the easy route, and that is it for DeCaster and the Gold Eyes here in the bottom of the first inning. Weber is forced at second, and Winnipeg is done in the first. No runs, a hit, one left, no score. We'll go to the second, tell you about the temperature and conditions here in downtown after these on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. If your business, big or small, has excess waste and recycling piling up, let BFI Canada make your trash our business. Our customized pickup schedules make it easy. With commercial and industrial collection services, BFI Canada can help any business get organized. Want to make your business feel like new? Then call up the blue. Visit BFICanada.com to schedule your pickup date today. BFI Canada. A cleaner community. A greener environment that baseball glove you know the one the one that you got in high school the one that got you mvp your senior year yeah you know the one and we do too at ranger insurance we protect what's important to you because whatever size it is it's the little things that matter whether it's home life auto or commercial ranger insurance has a plan that's right for you for the protection you deserve visit rangerinsurance.ca Free Jive Interactive Media is online, on site, and on the street. Grab the new online version of the Free Jive Weekly at freejivewinnipeg.com or pick it up at one of our 200 local restaurant locations. Find us at local events and keep a lookout for the Free Jive Cruiser around the city. And make sure to visit freejivewinnipeg.com to keep updated on all of our weekly contests and giveaways. Free Jive Interactive Media, online, on site, on the street. 
You're listening to Gold Ice Baseball Live on TSN 1290. Brought to you in part by Avalon and the Gulf Dome. Top of the second inning. My name is Paul Edmonds. Glad to have you along. Our producer operator back at her flagship station in South Winnipeg is Alex Albany. And on the CJ Network, Riley Lechuk in Swan River. Here's Rico Washington. First pitch is swung on in the second inning and lifted a mile high in left field. And right there is Rich Carpenter to trot in and easily make the catch for the first out. One away, and Rico Washington is retired. We'll also see Sean Smith and Kyle Haynes. Let's finish up with the weather report for 360winnipeg.ca. It is partly sunny, although the sun is out now. There's lots of cloud around us, but some blue sky over top of us. It's 20 degrees Celsius or 68 Fahrenheit. Humidity is 81%, and the wind is south 18 gusting to 30 from right to left. First pitch to Sean Smith is in there for a strike. He squared the bunt, then pulled back and takes a called strike anyway. So here in Winnipeg, it is sunny. We'll call it that. The 0-1 swung on, hit to center field. And right there is Roberson a couple of steps to his left and one back, and he reaches up and makes the catch, and there's two away. As Ace Walker works into his second inning, 20 Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit, humidity 81%. Wind is out of the south, 18 gusting to 30. It is breezy, and the wind blowing from right to left field here at Shaw Park. Here's Kyle Haynes with two away. Left-handed batter, and the pitch is in there for a strike. He showed bunt as well, pulled back. Haynes is a switch hitter, batting from the left side against the right-hander in Ace Walker. And Haynes had a good night last night. He was 3-for-4 with a home run. The 0-1. Change up, swung on, hit off the end of the bat, foul. Third base side, nothing and two. Well, speaking of home runs, folks, you can drop into Home Run Sports at De La Seniori Boulevard, Bishop Grandin, and enter to win in the Home Run Sports home run inning. Here's how it works. If a gold eye player it's a home run in any inning, we pick your name that day. You'll receive an Easton prize package courtesy of Easton Sports, but you must hear your name on this program in order to know that you're a winner. The 0-2 is low. Nice block by Allen. One ball, two strikes. Afterward... You must then contact Home Run Sports within 30 days to claim your prize. You can do that in person or by calling 255-7687. No home runs for the Gold Eyes last night. No winners today. Perhaps today for tomorrow night in Lincoln. 1-2. Swing and a miss. And down on strikes goes Haynes. And that is it for Gary in the top of two. Second strikeout for Ace Walker. So... We'll do the home run inning again tomorrow. Maybe we'll pass along a winner's name if the Gold Eyes can hit a home run here today. No runs, no hits, nobody left for Gary. We're through one and a half. We'll go to the bottom of the second, play some trivia, and we come back. We're scoreless in downtown on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. A good hit to right field. It's going. Another home run at Cambrian Credit Union. Get the shirt off our backs at the July 10th Gold Eyes Sioux Falls matchup. Get more than the shirt off our backs. Bank for free with the unfee at Cambrian Credit Union. Hi, I'm Denny from Denny's Old Hog Barbecue. There's nothing better than a summer barbecue. And I'm quarterback Buck Pierce. And I want you to call Danny's Whole Hog Barbecue now to book your fully catered barbecue or try a do-it-yourself hog roast. It's fun, delicious, will cost less than you think. Plus, you can keep the leftovers. We'll even pack it up for you. Dates are filling up, so act fast. Visit dannyswholehog.com or call 344-5675. And we'll bring the flavor. Friday, the quest for European football supremacy begins. All eyes are on Poland as the co-host nation kicks off against the 2004 champions, Greece. Then, the Dark Horse Russians look to start the tournament strong against the Czech Republic. 16 teams, one trophy. Who will be crowned the kings of Europe? UEFA Euro 2012 begins at 10 a.m. on TSN. Bottom of the second inning, we welcome you back. No score. 
Luis Allen, Dan Barbero, and Josh Mazzola. Five, six, seven in the order for Winnipeg to face tall Andrew Johnston, a right-hander. Has the long hair hanging out of the back of the hat. Looks like a bit of a free spirit. First pitch. Swung on, bounced out toward third, backing up on it, and backhanding it is Washington. Throw to first, and a couple of hops gets there in time to get Luis Allen one pitch and one out as the Gold Eyes catcher is retired. So the bottom of two starts with an out, and here's Dan Barbero. Let's play trivia here in the last of the second inning. We are scoreless. Trivia contest question brought to you by the Plas Louis Riel Sweet Hotel in downtown Winnipeg. Plas Louis Riel specializing in spacious executive suites. Barbero one for six in the series. With a couple of RBI, he drove both of those in with a single on Friday night. First pitch is in there for a strike. Well, the contest is open to those that have yet to win this year. If you won in the preseason or regular season, uh, 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 ineligible. 0-1 is high, one ball, one strike. If you've yet to win, you are eligible. Up for grabs, a pair of gold eye tickets to a future home game. Your choice. And you'll also be entered to win automatically. The 1-1 is outside 2-1. For a chance to win the grand prize of a weekend stay at the Place Louis at the end of the season. Two balls and a strike to Barbero, batting 313. The pitch is high, 3 and 1. Number to call if you think you know the answer 780 1290. 780 1290. Area code 204 if you need to dial it. Only you would know. 3 1. He's outside, ball four. He walked him. One on free pass to Dan Barbero. And the Gold Eyes have a base runner for the second time, second time in as many innings. And Josh Mazzola's the batter. He is 0 for 9 on the homestand. And he also has four walks, but looking for his first official hit at Shaw Park is Mazzola. First pitch is low and inside, ball one. So there you have it. The parameters are laid out. Now all you need is the question, and I know what you're saying. You've been saying it for years. Get on with it, Edmonds. Move it along here. We're standing by the phone ready to dial. We need the question. I'll do that right after this pitch. One ball, no strikes. And a throw over to first base while we get delayed a little further. By the way, Barbero does not have a stolen base. He has not attempted one either. And he's hanging pretty close to that first base bag being held on by Mike Rohde. No score, bottom two, one out, one on. Johnston comes set, the 1-0. is low and inside, two balls and no strikes. All right, the question is, who is the last Gold Eyes player to record 125 or more hits in a season. Two balls and no strikes. The pitch is inside 3 and 0. Who is the last Gold Eyes player to record 125 or more hits in a season? 7801290780290 if you think you know the answer. 3-0 in there for a strike. Mazzola taking all the way, and the old automatic makes it 3-1. and one. Last Gold Eyes player to record 125 or more hits in a season. Name him. 3-1. Swung on, fouled away down the right field line, way out of play, and on top of the roof. Uh, Blues on first. Three balls and two strikes. Josh Mazzola batting 154. A homer and four driven in. Did not play the first two games in this series against Gary. Johnston comes set, throws over to first base, and Barbero just back in in time. One out, one on. No score. Gold Eyes have the lone hit in the game. They've also made the lone error. And we have a winner on trivia. Winner of the answer coming up in the seventh. 
And time called by Mazzola. So that didn't take long. On Softball Sunday. Again, bottom seven, winner in the answer for trivia. Long pause from the stretch, run on the move, pitch is swung on, bounced, left side foul. Three balls and two strikes. Tomorrow, we are down in Lincoln, and the Gold Eyes open up a seven-game road trip tomorrow night in Lincoln, Nebraska. Chris Salamino will get the start. No record, 321 ERA. And the Gold Eyes will play there tomorrow night. Tuesday night will be right across the network again, Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, and a week from today in Fargo. So not a bad trip as the throw goes over to first and Barbero gets back in in time. You work your way down, then work your way back up, and then you finish with a matinee a week from today, and you're only three hours from home. The payoff swung on, fouled at the plate by Mazzola, and we do it again, 3-2. and two. Problem is, the Gold Eyes, after the road trip, only come home for three, and then go back out for seven again, but it's Sioux City, Sioux Falls, so it's not as far as Lincoln. On, Tough stretch here in June, playing practically every day. And then it gets easier in July and August. Three balls, two strikes, the pitch. Swung on, line right back up the middle for a base hit. Barbero will stop at second, up with a ball in center is Smith. He fires it back in. And Mazzola has his first hit here at home in 2012. And there's gold eyes at first and second with one out for Ridge Carpenter. And Carpenter will stand in from the left side. Well, we'll have every game for you here on TSN 1290. And, of course, every Tuesday and Sunday game across the network as well. And now they're going to bring the trainer out to have a look at Andrew Johnston. Greg Taggart came over to the home plate umpire, Chaz Stadola, and said, I think my guy's hurt. I don't want this to be a pitching visit. Can I bring my trainer out? Chaz said yes. And now they're going to get together on the mound and have a look at Andrew Johnston and see what the problem might be. And I didn't see if he was favoring something after that pitch to Josh Mazzola. By the way, on trivia, it was our fourth caller that won it today. And now Rick Forney goes out to have a little chat with Joe Pascucci, third base umpire and crew chief. And I don't know, it maybe looks like it might be a finger problem or Johnston wandering around on the mound. And I think they're gonna take him out. I think the Railcats are going to get somebody up in the bullpen to maybe throw here, and that's it. Johnston's going to come out. Well, they'll bring the right-hander right out of the bullpen, and he will get as long as he needs to get loose here as Andrew Johnston will walk off the field, down the steps, through the tunnel, and likely into the clubhouse for the Gary Social Railcats underneath the first base grandstand. And I don't know what the problem was, but he could not continue. So we're going to get a pitching change here. And this will be very early in this game. And it's going to be number 44 to come in. And Nolan Nicholson, who has been with the Gary Social Railcats for the last couple of years. So we get a pitching change, and Rich Carpenter will face a new right-hander as Andrew Johnston leaves with an injury, undetermined at this point. No score, the Gold Eyes have two on, and one out. Again, I didn't see it. All of a sudden we saw some emergence out of that Gary dugout. 
field manager. Then he asked the umpire if he could bring out the trainer, and Andrew Johnston leaves with a injury in this second in second inning. And it brings in Nolan Nicholson. If memory serves and will confirm this, I think this is Nicholson's third year with the Railcats. For Andrew Johnston, he goes one and one-third innings. And he gives up two hits, no runs, responsible for two, a walk, no strikeouts. And the pitching change is brought to you by Johnson Waste Management, 452-09-09. For Nolan Nicholson, a right-hander, 6'2", 195, from Fullerton, California. He is 25 years old. And he continues to get warm. If you're not up on the rule, when a pitcher leaves the game and you have to bring somebody because of injury out of the bullpen, that reliever gets as much time as he deems necessary to get loose. So it's not eight pitches as you would when you come out of the bullpen for a pitching change. This is Nicholson's third year with the Railcats. He started back in 2010 and he made 16 starts for the Railcats. He was five and six. And then last year struggled. He went from a 487 ERA as a starter to both starter and reliever last year in 25 games, and his ERA was 7.37. But he fits nicely on the roster for the Railcats. He's listed as an LS1. So not a rookie any longer, but still one of those lower LS spots that you have to fill up as well. And Nicholson will make his sixth appearance all out of the bullpen. A 1-0 record, a 1.74 ERA, 10 and one-third innings, five hits, two runs. His problem, seven walks, six strikeouts. Opposition batting 143 against him. So we're ready to go, and Rich Carpenter will step in from the left side. No score. Bold eyes with two on and one down. And Carpenter, 0 for 2 yesterday, was hit by a pitch and also walked once. And 2 for 12 with a couple of RBI in the series. Waggles the bat, does Carpenter. First pitch. Here's a breaking ball that drops in there for a strike. Nolan Nicholson pitched in Quebec back in 2010 before becoming a Gary Social Railcat in the Can-Am League. 0-1. Low, 1-1. One one. Prior to that, he was in Coastal of the Central League. So he's been an independent guy since he turned pro in 0-9. One ball, one strike. And a spinoff, the back of the hill by Nicholson, and it forces Barbero back to second to check up. Barbero's at second, Mazzola's at first. And the 1-1. Half a swing, didn't go. Pitch is low and outside, 2-1 and one to Carpenter. Ridge hitting 270. Does not have a home run. He's driven in six. Boy, it'll be a tough poke for you to get one out to right field today with that wind blowing in from right. 2-1 is high. Three balls and one strike. You know, if you're a left-handed batter, you're going to try to shoot something the other way today. That's really your only hope. I mean, you could square one up and line it over second, dump it into right, right center for sure. But if you're thinking about pulling the ball to right field today, it better be out of a cannon. 3-1. Swing and a miss. And it's 3-2 and two to Carpenter. Nicholson was signed as a free agent by the Railcats back in 2010 in June. Three balls, two strikes. And the right-hander comes set the pitch. 
Here's a cold third strike on the outside corner. Runners on the move. Throw down to third. Pulled Rico Washington off the bag and sliding underneath with a stolen base is Dan Barbero. Boy, that was, well, in a way, Taylor made strike him out, throw him out, double play, but the throw by Maddox was offline, pulled Washington off the bag, and Barbero seized the opportunity, dove underneath the tag. It's a stolen base for Barbero and for Mazzola, and there's two away now as Carpenter goes down looking, and David Naradowski, the batter, with runners at second and third and two away now. Now the Canadian an opportunity to open up the score. First pitch is low and inside, ball one. Naradowski, one for four last night, one for eight in the series, but three for nine on the homestand. Been kind of shooting everything out to right field. Righty, righty here, the 1-0. Swung on, shot out to right field, drifting back is going to be Massaro. He'll easily make that catch, and that's it for the Gold Eyes here in the bottom of the second. No runs, a hit, two left, and a pitching change already. At the end of two, we'll go to the third. We're scoreless on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. And here's a picture of Andy at the beach. You mean that tiny speck on the horizon? Yeah. Oh, you know, here's a better picture. He's the yellow blurry thing in the middle. Don't be stuck with a camera you don't know how to use. Shop Don's Photo. They have that same camera you found at the box store, even the same price. The difference is, they'll actually show you how to use it. Visit donsphoto.com or stop by one of our three Winnipeg stores and let's talk photography. The Winnipeg Gold Eyes make dreams come true by providing live baseball experiences to charities, nonprofit groups, and inner city programs. Now, with the Gold Eyes Community Zone, even more memories are available to be made. For group tickets, contact the Gold Eyes at 982 Base. These extra seats are only possible through generous donations from the Community Zone partners. So, from the Winnipeg Gold Eyes and Community Zone recipients, thank you. Rona Home and Garden, Investors Group, and Manitoba Lotteries Corporation. Seems like yesterday he could barely throw the ball. Now my glove hand's on fire. <laughs> my boy's got quite an arm. His fastball may be ready for heavy hitters, but he may not be ready for... Come on, man. Don't be a wuss. It's just a little chew. Try it. Talk to your kids about chewing tobacco today. Because if you think you've prepared them for everything, you don't know spit. <laughs> Brought to you by Mantra, the Manitoba Tobacco Reduction Alliance for tobacco-free sports. You want Gold Eyes baseball? We've got it. This is TSN 1290, and you're listening to the voice of the Gold Eyes, Paul Edmonds. Top of the third inning. No score. And we welcome you from border to border inside this great province. Mike Rohde, Craig Maddox, and David Cooper. Seven, eight, and nine for Gary against Ace Walker. First pitch change up in there for a strike as it cuts the plate in half. And Rody, who did not play last night, started Friday, was one for three. He takes a strike. And the 0-1. Oh, he was in there for a strike. I thought it was a little bit low. Nothing in two to Rody. Rody hitting 245. No homers and six driven in. The pitch swung on, fouled back to the screen as Luis Allen set up inside on the left-handed batter. They tried to jam him there. Walker kind of left it over the plate a little bit, and Rody fouled it back to the screen. Still strike two. And the 0-2. Breaking ball is low. One ball and two strikes. Mike Rody is a lot like what Alan Rick used to be in Fargo to the gold eyes anyway. He'll come up, have a couple of three at bats, strike out once or twice, fly out, one, two. Swung on, foul back, and we do it again at a ball and two strikes. And then late in the game when his team is trying to rally, he'll step up with a couple of guys on. Just when you think you probably can get him out, he'll double to the gap and drive two in. One and two to Mike Rohde. The leadoff batter here in the third, the pitch. Swung on, fouled away. And Rody having a good look at Ace Walker. We're scoreless in the third. Rody, Maddox, and Cooper, 7, 8, and 9. 
We'll have a look at the Manitoba Blue Cross out of town scoreboard here in this third. The one-two pitch. Swung on, hit to center field. Roberson drifting back, turning, still going, and then hauling it in with a step on the warning track and then almost climbs the fence just to stop his forward progression in dead central. And Rody is out number one. A real nice catch by Roberson in center field. One away for Craig Maddox, who's playing his first game in this series this afternoon, hitting 226. There is a lot of action going on in the American League right now at the big league level. First pitch is low, ball one. In Detroit, the Yankees are leading the Tigers. New York 5, Detroit 1 in the 7th. The 1-0. Swung on, lifted out toward left center. Lazy fly ball. Right there is Carpenter. And he'll drift back about three-quarters of the way back, playing the wind, and make the catch for the second out. And the batter is David Cooper. Alex Rodriguez has homered for the Bronx Bombers, his ninth. Derek Jeter, his sixth. Prince Fielder has accounted for the lone run for Detroit with his ninth home run of the year. 5-1 Yankees lead Detroit in the seventh. Toronto being helped by a home run by Jose Bautista. His 14th lead Boston in Toronto, 5-1 to one in the 5th. First pitch is in there for a strike to Cooper. Kelly Shopik has his third home run for Boston as they trail by four in Toronto in the 5th this afternoon in the GTA. Cooper seen his first action at the plate. He came in defensively on Friday. Pitches swung on and missed. Strike two. David Cooper, if you are saying, I remember that name. Yeah, well, he played in Rockford in 2010 when Rockford was in the Northern League. Bottom of the fifth inning, Tampa Bay and Baltimore are tied at two. In Tampa, Matt Wieters has a home run for Baltimore, his ninth of the year. Pitch is low, one ball and two strikes. Bottom three, Seattle leading the Chicago White Sox, two to one, looking for their second straight win against the White Sox. Miguel Olivo has a home run for Seattle, his fourth. One, two. Swung on, Q shot it off the end of the bat, foul. Third base side, we do it again. Bottom three in Kansas City, the Royals leading Oakland, one nothing. In the first, Cleveland and Minnesota are scoreless. And coming up at 2.35 Central today, Texas at the Angels. Texas has lost four in a row. And the Angels have climbed back into contention in the AL West. 1-2 pitch. Swung on. Pulled foul down the right field line and in. And back down out of that patio deck and into the grass berm. Matt Harrison for Texas 6-3. Dan Heron, 3-5 and five for the Halos this afternoon. We're scoreless here. We're in the third, two away, and a 1-2 count on David Cooper, the second baseman. Left-handed batter against Ace Walker. And the 1-2 pitch. Breaking ball is low, 2-2. Two and two. In the National League, Atlanta leads Washington in D.C., Braves three, Nationals two in the fifth. A couple of homers for Washington, including Bryce Harper's fifth of the year. 2-2. Two, two. Swung on, softly lined to second, caught by Kendall. One second baseman retires the other, and Walker sits down. Gary, 1-2-3 in the top of the third. No runs, no hits, nobody left. We'll go to the bottom of the third inning. More scores coming your way from other leagues and other cities. The scoreboard here in downtown reads Winnipeg nothing, Gary nothing. Gold Eyes Baseball on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. The Mediterranean. The Greek. The Mediterranean. The Greek. Even if you can't agree on what kind of pizza to get, at least everyone in Winnipeg agrees where to get it. Santa Lucia Pizza. For the sixth straight year, you at Uptown Magazine readers voted Santa Lucia Best Pizza in Winnipeg. They've also received the Consumer Choice Award for Best Pizza Restaurant. Whether it's dine-in, takeout, or home delivery, Winnipeg agrees. Santa Lucia Pizza is the best in town. You see, the best ingredients make the best of the pizza. Growing debt is like being in a dark tunnel. 
You don't know which way to turn. You keep getting tripped up by bills and sudden expenses that you didn't see coming, and you feel like you aren't making any progress. But there's someone who can give you advice on debt counseling and credit proposals. Someone who can guide you to a light at the end of the tunnel. Elsie Taylor, trustee in bankruptcy. Your way forward. Visit us at lctaylor.net. Cheers to the NSA slow pitch team whose uniforms are not uniform at all. Cheers to the times where more prep goes into playing after the game than playing in it. Cheers to the team who carries the cooler to the bench first and then maybe goes back to the van for the bats, balls, and gloves. Cheers from the Bud family, Budweiser, Bud Light, and Bud Light Lime. Proud sponsors of your Winnipeg Gold Eyes and every NSA slow pitch team in Winnipeg. Go get them! We go to the bottom of the third inning. We welcome you back. No score in downtown Winnipeg at Shaw Park. The last of a six-game homestand. And game three of a three-game series between Gary and Winnipeg. Price Kendall leads it off. First pitch from Nolan Nicholson is down and away. Ball one. Well, we have spies everywhere. 1-0. He's in there for a strike. We're told that Andrew Johnston left with a back problem. And that's why Nolan Nicholson had to come in the game. Pitches in there for a strike. The 1-1 is high and tight. 2-1. Kendall flew out to left field. Well, that's good to know. 2-1. There's a breaking ball down and away. 3-1. The reason I thought it was maybe a hand situation was he was kind of moving the, the ball around in his hand. And I thought, well, maybe... There's a blister, there's something that's been hyperextended, but it ends up being a back problem. 3-1 is low and inside, and Kendall will draw ball four as Nolan Nicholson will walk his first of the afternoon. Second walk issued by Gary in the baseball game, and Chris Roberson, the batter, he's one for one. No score, bottom three. Four scores from the National League. Miami leading Philadelphia 4-0 in the seventh. Homers, Carlos Zambrano, the pitcher with a homer for the Marlins. Hanley Ramirez with his 11th. Philadelphia's struggles continue. First pitch to Roberson on the outside edge for a strike. Cincinnati on a home run by Zach Cozart, his sixth. There's a 2-1 lead on Houston in South Texas. That's in the fourth. Milwaukee leading Pittsburgh in Wisconsin, 2-1 to one in the fourth. The 0-1. Swung on, that is lined, out to third, caught by Washington, throws across to double off Kendall at first. That's kind of the way it's gone the last two nights for the Gold Eyes. That was hit right on the screws, but right at third baseman Rico Washington. It's a line out that ends up being a double play. And there's two away for John Weber who is 0 for 1 here today and 0 for 6 in the series. Had an 11-game hitting streak come to an end last night. Colorado and the Dodgers just underway. They're scoreless coming up at 3.05 today. The Cubs are in San Francisco. First pitch is on the inside edge for a strike. Travis Wood for Chicago. Barry Zito for San Fran. 5.35 Arizona at San Diego today. Trevor Cahill versus Eric Stutz. The pitch is outside, one and one. And then 7.05 tonight, Sunday night baseball, St. Louis at the Mets. The pitch is high, two and one. Jake Westbrook for the Cardinals. Jonathan Neese for the Mets. And they've won a couple of impressive games already this weekend against St. Louis. The 2-1 to Weber. Swung on, foul back. Right to the screen, 2-2. No score, two away, bottom three. Back on the air tomorrow, 6.30 from Haymarket Park in Lincoln, Nebraska. Two balls, two strikes. Weber batting 377 coming in. 2 2. Inside, three balls, two strikes. 
No homers and 10 driven in. Old eyes have, without looking, I can tell you, one home run, the pitch. Swung on, chopper off the plate, bounce right side, picked up by Cooper, over to first, and the gold eyes are done. In the bottom of the third inning, no runs, no hits, and nobody left. We'll go to the fourth when we come back. No score. You're listening to Gold Eyes Baseball. Where else? But on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Swing into spring at Salisbury House, and you could be watching the Gold Eyes swing their bats free. Sal's is proud to introduce Extras. Four great new taste sensations. Swing into spring and try new Extras, and you'll receive a free high five Gold Eyes ticket voucher at all participating Salisbury House locations. But there's more. More. You also get to enter to win a Gold Eyes Suite to watch a home game in style with family and friends. So swing into spring with new extras at Salisbury House. Your house, your food, your way. We keep old files because they're out of sight and out of mind, or because we think we have to. But someday those old files could bite us if they get in the wrong hands. Isn't it time you let bygones be bygones? Have Protect Document Destruction's mobile service professionally shred your files wherever they are to rid yourself of those ticking time bombs. Protect Document Destruction, 9750505, a division of Johnson Waste Management. Welcome back. How was the vacation? It was fine. Why is everything so different in here? We upgraded all our office equipment to new technology from Rico through Milne Office Systems. How much more is this costing us? After Milne did a document needs analysis, they showed us how we could increase our productivity and decrease our costs. So where's my new copier? It's not a copier. It's a Rico. Visit MilneOffice.com to arrange for your own customized Rico digital workflow solution today. It's time to get back into the action. Batter up. Turn it up. This is Gold Eyes Baseball on TSN 1290. Now back to the voice of the Gold Eyes, Paul Edmonds. Well, we march along to the fourth inning. No score. Top of the order for Gary Klein, Massaro, and Coles against Ace Walker. And we've got a bit of an issue with the TV. They're still interviewing Tom Vaith. And now they're done. And they'll get the camera off the field. And we can resume baseball. And Klein will step in. He reached on an error to Naradowski, the only error in the game. Ace Walker works into his fourth. First pitch to Klein. Showed bunt, pulled back, took outside. Ball one. Made a mistake on Klein. He's hitless in the series. He's actually 0 for 7. The pitch outside as he showed Bunt again. Two balls and no strikes. Yeah, he's not 2 for 7. He's 0 for 7. Now 0 for 8 after reaching on an error to Naradowski in the first. Pitches in there for a strike. Two balls and one strike. Klein was lucky he didn't get suspended from his actions on Friday night. Pitch in there for a strike on the inside corner. Klein tried to turn out of the way of it. He got right in the grill of Michael O'Leary after striking out looking. And he almost looked like there was a bump. 2-2. Swung on. Line down the left field line. Fair ball. That's going to go down into the corner. Over to get it is going to be Rich Carpenter. Striding for a second is going to be Klein. And the ball finally gets its way back toward the infield, and Klein will have a leadoff double in his first hit of the series. That is the first hit of the afternoon for the South Shore Railcats. And an extra base hit at that, and the batter is Mike Massaro. Don't be surprised if Gary Bunt's here. Tight baseball game they would like. To get on the board first for the second straight game. Massaro has banged into a double play today. First pitch. Going to show Bunt and drag one up the first base line. Going to be picked up and Mazzola missed him with a tag on the way by. Boy, everybody in the house saw that. And I don't, I don't know where the defensive coverage was for the Gold Eyes now. If I was Mazzola, I'd be playing off the bag and in a little bit. 
And Mazzola had to come in and try to field that and then get Mazzaro on the way by. It ends up being a bunt single, just as we thought. And Gary is two on and nobody out. And Mike Cole's the batter. Yeah, it was a drag bunt. And the Gold Eyes could not defend that. Good butt, though, also by Mike Massaro. And Mazzola came in. He felt he only had one play. That was to try to sweep tag Massaro on the way by. Here's Mike Coles. Walker will come set. First pitch. Breaking ball drops in there for a strike as Coles was showing bunt. And I don't know if they're thinking squeeze here or not. No score. We're in the fourth. And now each team has two hits. But neither team has a run. We'll have a look at those American Association scores. Here in this fourth as well. From the stretch, the 0-1. Swung on, fouled back, and it's nothing in two. Newark is leading St. Paul 7-1. That's in the seventh in Newark, New Jersey. On that interleague play. American Association down to 13 teams, so an odd number. Same with the Can-Am League, and that's why they've decided to play interleague games, because they're managed in terms of administration by the same people. 0-2, swung on, that's hit to right center field, well stroked. On the run goes Barbero, and he will give way to Roberson, who dives out, and he makes the catch but tagging and coming in to score from third is Klein on the sack fly. Diving grab by Roberson, and he tried to, and he did sell it, obviously, to Joe Pascucci, the third base umpire that was the closest one to it in right center. And it's one nothing for Gary with one away, and a nice grab by Roberson. Coles will pick up his 10th RBI on the sack fly because Klein comes down easily to score from third. And staying put at first base is Mike Massaro, and here's Rico Washington. So for the second straight game, Gary opens up the scoring. And they're going to appeal over at third base as Walker throws over to third. And now here comes Rick Forney as they say that Klein left appropriately from third. And Rick's going to come out to have a little chat with Joe Pascucci. And Winnipeg will contest that Gary left early. And Adam Klein scoring the run. Wasn't quite waiting until that ball was caught. And now whatever was said was, was quick. And Forney, as soon as he got out to Pascucci, said something, turned around, started walking back. And now Rick will say something to home plate umpire, Chaz Tadola. I think this is about positioning. And that's what it is. Stadola wasn't watching the play at third to back up the third base umpire who's watching the catch out in center field. With, at that point, runners on the corners, now a runner in and a runner at first base. With a three-man crew, the pitch is in there for a strike. You know, you have to shift around a little bit and work different areas if you're the base umps, for sure. And then if you're the home plate, ump home plate umpire, you're backing up a little bit and watching, in that particular play, third base. And the runner to leave, the 0-1 inside. One ball, one strike to Washington. Lincoln leading Sioux Falls, 1-0 in the second. Wichita and Grand Prairie are scoreless in Wichita in the second. Wichita has won 10 in a row. 5.05 Amarillo at Kansas City. 6.05 Fargo at Sioux City. And 6.30 El Paso at Laredo. Pitch is swung on, bounce right side. Kendall to second for one. And down to one, not in time. And it'll bold Mazzola off the bag. Well, Naradowski's throw was behind the bag. And Mazzola on one hop stretched out. But they're going to say, Mike O'Leary does, that Mazzola's foot came off the bag. 
So Washington hits into a fielder's choice. They get Massaro, the lead runner, at 4-6 at second base. Two away for Sean Smith. El Paso at Laredo at 6.30 tonight. one nothing Gary here in the fourth, the pitch. Breaking ball is in there for a strike. Nothing and one to Sean Smith. He's 0 for 5 with a couple of strikeouts in the series. Stands in from the right-hand side. Walker comes set, the 0-1. Swung on, wrapped out toward third, up with it to Caster, and he goes the easy route to second. And the final out is recorded. Well, Gary gets on the board. A run on two hits, and they will leave one. We're through three and a half. Gary leads it one nothing on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Hit a home run this summer at any of RB's six Winnipeg locations. Whether you want to lead off with Arby's oven roasted roast beef or return for a designated hit. With a market fresh sandwich or wrap, you'll always come away feeling like a winner after a visit to Arby's. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Arby's. Locally owned and operated and proud to be a corporate sponsor of your Winnipeg Gold Eyes. In the world of Power Smart, small changes add up. Did you know planting shrubs and trees around your house can shade your windows in summer and can help protect your house from chilly winter winds? Drafty windows are uncomfortable and waste energy. Sealing and re-weather stripping your windows and adding window insulator kits are an effective way to save energy and money while improving the comfort of your home. For more energy-saving solutions from Manitoba Hydro, log on to manitobapowersmart.ca. A little of this. I turn it on at work and we all love it. Awesome. A little of that. It's the only station I listen to in my car. Bob makes my day. I'm more of a whatever guy. Tune into Bob's <laughs> Breakfast with Kelly Parker and Dick. Okay. That's Donald Duck's middle name. Why? Is it not? Is it Fontroy or Fontroy? Because this is it's important that I get it right. Weekdays from 5.30 till 9. When, what time are we on again? 5.30? Oh, Gosh, that's early. Add some 80s, 90s, and whatever to your day with 99.9 Bob FM. We love it. I listen all day. Well, we go to the bottom of the fourth inning, one nothing Gary. And the Gold Eyes have not scored a run in this series. In 15 innings. DeCaster, Allen, Barbero. First pitch to DeCaster from Nolan Nicholson, who took over for the injured Andrew Johnston. He is in there for a strike. DeCaster 0 for 1. And the 0 1. Low, one ball, one strike. Sarundle. 1 for 6 in the series. 1 1. Swung on, ground ball left side, hard hit, gets through. Lead off single as it gets between short and third. And that's a base hit to lead off for DeCaster. And here's Luis Allen, who's 0 for 1. For Winnipeg, their third hit today. Yeah, 15 innings and counting without a run in this series. 15 consecutive scoreless for Gary. 1-0 Gary leads. Luis Allen, 1 for 5 in the series. With a couple of walks, we'll step in from the right side. He hit a bullet out to Rico Washington and made a real nice play on it. First pitch is in there for a strike. To lead off the second. Chris Roberson's also hit a bullet that Rico Washington caught and then doubled off Kendall. Last inning. Nothing in one to the Gold Eyes right in and swinging catcher. And the pitch. Swung on, fouled at the plate, and it's nothing in two. The lights are on here at Shaw Park. We're not going to get dark for seven and a half hours. But I think they're anticipating maybe a little bit more cloud cover, and the sun will go away. It's still around. Still blue sky over top of us. Nicholson comes set, 0-2. Swung on, lifted out toward left field. Adam Klein is there in toward the gap, and he'll make the catch. And there's one away on that lazy fly ball. And Dan Barbero, the batter. 
He drew a walk, ended up getting pushed up to second on a hit by Mazzola, and then stole third, was left stranded. Old Eyes last night stranded 12. And Barbero, one for six, two RBI, and a walk in the series. Well, they got the girl guides who camped over here last night on the outfield. Up and out at the crack of dawn this morning. First pitch is on the outside edge for a strike. They end up getting to pitch the tents after the ballpark is cleared. Come back in after the game last night. The 0 1. Swung on, chopper right side, foul, and into that Gary, first base dugout, strike two. And then they pitch the tents on the outfield. And the Gold Eyes here put on a movie on the big screen. I'm not sure too many will actually make it through the whole movie before shutting her down. The pitch is high. One and two is the count now. It's a long day for kids. But the thrill of being able to camp out on the outfield grass, watch a movie, and sleep in a tent. The pitch swung on and fouled back to the screen. One ball and two strikes. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. One nothing, Gary. One run, two hits for Gary. Zero, three, and one for Winnipeg. Nolan Nicholson working into inning number three. The pitch. Runner in the move. Pitch is swung on and sent down the left field line. Foul and into the seats down there. That is a souvenir. One and two to Dan Barbero. Hitting 313. No homers and two driven in. Got the right idea. Trying to go the other way as a left-handed batter with that win. The caster was on the move, and he gets back to first base. One out, one on. One, two. Swung on. That's hit out to left field. Drifting back is Klein. He'll make the catch, and there's two away. And the batter is Josh Mazzola, who had a base hit after a real good at bat against Andrew Johnston. And that's where Johnston who hurt his back came out afterward and he was the last batter that he faced was Josh Mazzola and then Rich Carpenter faced Nolan Nicholson and a throw over to first base and DeCaster back in in time and Mazzola will stand in from the right side he's got some power to take it deep, especially with that wind. See what happens here. First pitch is low, ball one. Mazzola one for nine, or actually 0 for nine, coming into that at bat in the second here. He's now one for 10 on the homestand with four walks. 1-0, runner on the move, pitch is swung on, bounce left side. It's picked up by third baseman Washington, throws across and the gold eyes are done here. Boy, they just have not been able to string anything together. Lead off single, and they leave them stranded. No runs, a hit, one left. We'll go to the fifth. one nothing, Gary on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Once in a lifetime, there comes a food innovation so profound that only a voice like mine can announce it. As school children sing, fireworks explode, and Harrier jets fly overhead on top of a mountain. One of the Alps! Introducing all meat wings made with seasoned chicken breast. Now at Boston Pizza. Here to make you happy. Downtown. Coming to the energy. For five years, the new Pemina Chrysler has become Winnipeg's most conveniently located automotive center. From a 30-minute or it's free old change, all make collision center, Canada's largest parts volume dealer, or an incredible selection of new and used vehicles, it's really all here at the new Pemina Chrysler. So why drive to the outskirts of the city to buy, much less go all the way back for service when it's all here at the new Pemina Chrysler Dodge Jeep? 300 Pemina Highway or PeminaChrysler.com. 
Summer is something to enjoy. But remember, drinking any alcohol and driving don't mix. Drinking and driving puts you and others in danger. Your best bet is a designated driver who has had no alcohol. Enjoy your summer, but whatever you do, don't drink and drive. To keep Manitoban safe behind the wheel, police are increasing enforcement near you. Watch for them. A message from Manitoba Public Insurance. You're listening to Gold Ice Baseball Live on TSN 1290. Brought to you in part by Fergie's Fish and Chips and Manitoba Turkey Producers. Well, we go to the top of the fifth inning, one nothing. Gary, Kyle Haynes, Mike Rohde, and Craig Maddox, 6-7-8 and eight in the order against Ace Walker. Railcats getting a run. Last inning, the leadoff double, a bunt single, a sack fly, and there you go. First pitch to Haynes is in there for a strike. Haynes 0 for 1 today. He struck out. Switch hitter batting from the left side as Walker works into his fifth. Bold eyes have not scored now in 16 consecutive innings in this series. The 0-1 is low. One ball, one strike. Well, as we like to do, we like to utilize guests and their availability to us. And we have one for you, the 1-1. He is a bouncer in the dirt, two balls, one strike. And let me say, I pulled him from the A-plus pool of guests. Jack Callum, welcome. Thank you. For anybody that doesn't know, Jack's been involved in baseball for, what, about uh, 260 years here in the province? Since the late 1940s. Okay. The 2-1 is high, three balls, one strike. And very involved in the Mantua Baseball Hall of Fame. Very involved in the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame annual dinner, which went last night. And also a member of the Gold Ice Fan Club, the 3-1 is low, ball four, and Haynes draws a leadoff free pass. First walk issued by Ace Walker, and Mike Rohde, the batter, he flew out to center field his first trip. Well, I don't know, do you have official an official title? With the Hall of Fame? Well, I just completed uh, eight years as chairman, and I've been on the board for 16 years, and Al Kinley is now chairman of the board of directors. Why'd you give it up? Oh, it's time to slow down a bit. Here's Mike Rohde from the stretch, first pitch, and that is in there for a strike. Well, great to have you. And, uh, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the night, the day here today, the Hall of Fame, and and a little bit about the fan club and that road trip coming up. Uh, but maybe after this pitch, you can tell me a little bit about what the night that was last night down in Morden for all of the inductees, the teams, the individuals. Pitches swung on, popped up. Foul territory, third base side, and it drifts into the seats. Nothing in two to Rody. How was the night last night, Jack? Very good. Very uh, comparable to the last three or four years. Uh, increased attendance to 525 because we had an extra team. Four teams, seven individuals, and one family. The Mutchison family from Morden. And, uh, yeah, it's, it was probably a $12,000 net profit night, which is a major contribution to our $20,000 requirement for, to operate the museum each year. $20,000 per year to operate the Manitoba Hall of Fame Museum in Morton. That is correct. Wow. 0 2. Breaking ball, swung on, lifted out towards center. Well struck, but circling under it is going to be Roberson. He makes the catch, and there's one away as Rody is retired for the second time today. And staying put at first is Kyle Haynes and Craig Maddox, the batter. He is 0 for 1. He flew out to left field. Well, you know, I don't want to really get into specifics here, but 20 grand seems kind of steep to me. Is that sort of the rent on the on the area of the building? or? Well, well, we're very fortunate that we pay very little rent, but there are utility costs. There's uh, Internet, computer costs, telephone, fax, uh, summer students, and uh, it all adds up. A uh, fair bit of mailing and... Uh, uh, we have to get a little better into the technology phase, but uh, we're a little behind on that. But yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty consistent over the years. But rent is is we're very fortunate, very fortunate to, to be in Morden. Okay, did you negotiate that yourself with Morden, or uh, because I'm going to say right now, if you did, come over and see my banker, <laughs> and maybe we can renegotiate my mortgage. Well, I spent 25 years in labor relations. Okay, and there yeah, you go. So the answer is, uh, yeah, I'm involved, <laughs> including the renewal of the lease. 
Here is Maddox. A couple of throws go over to first. Maddox goes out to the first pitch and drives it to straightaway center. Back goes Roberson, and it's over his head and off the base of the wall. He'll quickly fire it back in. Maddox will have a double. Stopping at third is Kyle Haynes. An extra base hit, and Maddox crushed that into sort of that wind, that crosswind. And another extra base hit off Ace Walker. And Gary right now in the driver's seat with two on and one down both in scoring position. And here comes David Cooper. And Bill Pulsifer, the Gold Eyes pitching coach, will come out to have a little chat. Boy, Gary has three hits, two of them for extra bases here. And the bottom of the order doing some damage. And they're looking to expand on that one-run lead. They lead at 1-0. Well, anyway, a great night. You had over 500 people there last night. And let me just get sort of into the Hall of Fame. And, you know, you talked about $20,000 to operate it every year. It grows every year with more, I don't want to say artifacts, but more uh, names that go in, more apparel, more equipment, uh, just more things that you can display, doesn't it? Yes. uh, In 08 and 09, uh, we added another 1,000 square feet which allowed us to uh, to display a lot more memorabilia and more pictures and and put up the past inductees' pictures up in a sliding uh, arrangement so that you can see those people who were inducted in previous years. So it's, uh, yeah, we, we've, we're very pleased. And as I said, we were hoping to negotiate another 10-year extension on our lease. First pitch to Cooper is outside after the mound meeting, and it's ball one. Infield pulled in for Winnipeg to protect home plate. Cooper is lined out softly out to second base in Price Kendall. So 0 for 1 in the series, a left-handed batter. Well, the dinner goes, and induction goes every year early in June. And I think looking at some of the history of the gold eyes and people involved with this franchise. John Hindle is in, former general manager. Scott Neelis yeah. is in, former coach. Donnie Smith is in, went in last night, former pitcher. All Manitoba products, the 1-0 to Cooper. Swung on, popped up into shallow right center. Wind will push it back a little bit. Kendall underneath it makes the catch as he pushed himself back in backpedaling to right center and makes the catch. And there's two down for Adam Klein. So runners at second and third. Two away. The infield can back up. Klein has a double. He's also reached an error, and he scored the lone run here today. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Importantly also, Scott Nealis is currently on our board, and John Hindle has has been on the board in the past. And we have uh, 17 board members and two appointed by Baseball Manitoba, and they established policy and and uh, set guidelines for induction. Here's Adam Klein, first pitch. Just missed inside, ball one. Tickets are fairly inexpensive. They're only $60 for adults. Yes. And you get a great crowd every year. And We have had as many as 700, but that was when, uh, when we were inducting more individuals. Pitch is in there for a strike, and it's one and one. Everybody gets a chance to come up and make a speech? <laughs> yes, yes. There's some better than others, and some take longer than is required or or beyond the time limits they're supposed to, but that goes with the territory. One ball, one strike to Klein. Walker's pitch. Swung on, chopper out to first. Fielded easily by Mazzola. He'll make the unassisted play at first with a quick step to his left. And that is it for Gary. The Gold Eyes get out of a jam. No runs. One hit for Gary. Two left. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth. My guest is Jack Callum, board member of the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame. They had their induction night last night. And it's Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame day here at the ballpark today. More with him and with you after these. one nothing Gary going to the home half of five of the Gold Eyes Radio Network. 
Teamwork wins ball games, and it's made Safer Agencies an even stronger player in the insurance business. Recently, Safer Agencies teamed up with Canada's largest personal property insurance company, Intact Insurance. So now, when life throws you a curveball, they'll get you back in the game faster than ever. Are you over 50 with no claims for three years? Then you could score big league savings on home insurance, including no deductible on your first claim. Call Safer Agencies for details. 694-6787. I'm Larry McIntosh. Did you know that every single peak of the market vegetable is grown in Manitoba? Well, they are. They are 100% Manitoba grown with absolutely no exceptions. Peak of the market is 40 Manitoba family farms that are all located within 100 miles of Winnipeg. Peak of the market, always local and proud to be 100% Manitoba owned and operated. Peak of the market. CTV brings you a new Thursday go, summer go, go. drama. He's non-responsive to pain. Get away! He's a chief of surgery. You have to reduce the pressure on his brain or he's going to die. Doctors living on the edge. This is life and death. You have to be aggressive. A chief of surgery stuck between two worlds. This is how it happens. I'm in a coma. And the woman who loves him. I'm not leaving him. I'm still here. CTV Saving Hope. New series begins Thursday at 8. Bottom of the fifth inning, my name is Paul Edmonds, along with Jack Kellum from the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame. Rich Carpenter, David Naradowski, Price Kendall, 8, 9, and 1. For Winnipeg, Gary leads it 1-0. First pitch of the home half of 5 is swung on and fouled off the instep. And Carpenter will limp that off. He is 0 for 1 today. He struck out looking. Was the first batter that Nolan Nicholson, who works into his fourth inning now, faced after coming in and replacing Andrew Johnston. Johnston left with an injury, and now a left-hander up in the bullpen for Gary as well. Now that right field line, it's number 31 in Chuck Lukanen. And Carpenter hitting 270, no homers and six driven in. Stands back in after walking off that stinger, the 0 1 pitch. And he bunts one out toward third, picked up by Nicholson, and he will field his position nicely coming off the hill and fires to first to get Carpenter. And there's one down on the 1 3 put out. Here's David Naradowski. Okay, Mr. Callum. We had the speeches last night. Uh, just a, a real nice night of baseball down in Morton, isn't it? For for a lot of people you know, for a lot of people that everybody knows, because it's a small baseball community, but it's a great night for baseball in our province, as it was and has been for many, many years. Yes, for example, Iggy Scaletta, who, who was first base umpire and then... First pitch is swung on, bounced out towards short, running back and fielding it. Deep in the hole is going to be Haynes. And in shallow left center, he'll get a backhand on it, turn and fire, but not in time to get David Naradowski, who has an infield single. And the Gold Eyes have their fourth hit of the afternoon, a one-out single. And Naradowski is aboard with his fourth hit of the homestand. Back to the top of the order in Price Kendall. So back to yeah, Iggy Scaletta. Yeah, he, he was the first base uh, umpire in the 1967 Pan Am final, U.S. versus Cuba. And he became very emotional last night, and uh, as a lot of others, including uh, John Lecician, who was, comes, came in from Waterloo, Iowa. First pitch to Kendall in there for a strike. He's a former Dolphin Redbird, and he was really uh, impressed with the museum and, uh, and the evening. Uh, he hadn't been here for some time, number of years. From the stretch, the 0-1. Swung on, bounce left side, strike two. And, and Donnie Smith uh, uh, said some nice things about the Gold Eyes and his baseball career and how fortunate he was to be inducted last night. Talked a little longer than his guideline, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a teacher, you know? Yes. And he was always a good interview. See, guys like me like Donnie Smith, right? <laughs> good chatters. Yeah. Throw over to first base and back in in time is Naradowski. Well... The inductees included individuals Alec Campbell, Wayne Gullett, John Lachishan, as you mentioned. Pitches fouled off the instep, and Kendall will pop that off, strike two. Bill Nicholson, who went in posthumously. Ernie O'Dowda, posthumously. Bob Paradigm, Iggy Scaletta, Donnie Smith. 
the teams, 1986 to 1990, Hamiota Red Sox, and that's why the Gold Eyes are wearing the Hamiota Red Sox jerseys today. The 1988 to 93 Grosile Blue Jays, 64 to 69 Rivers Comets, and the 81 Team Manitoba Bison All Stars. The special category, which the was the Mutchison family, the pitch, swung on, looped out towards second, caught by Cooper, and back to first is going to be Deridowski. There'll be two away. Nice catch by David Cooper, drifting back and climbing the ladder, losing his balance, but hauling that baseball in. Two down for Chris Roberson, who is one for two today. Deridowski is still at first base. So that's who all went in. Both individuals, the special category, Mutchison family, and the teams. And over 500 people were there last night. And, Jack, for as long as I can remember in doing this job, and this is my 18th season here, Nicholson will come set in a step off. You know, I've always tried to help you out. The press conference has been something we've done together for the last number of years. We usually do that in January? No, October. October, that's right. The pitch is low and inside. It's usually, yeah, in the fall. And then at the same time, you always give me something to read and kind of, you know, promote on the air here. How many years have you been doing these induct inductions and that Hall of Fame has been going in Morton? The 1-0 is inside 2-0. Uh, the organization was established in 90, 1996, yeah. uh, and uh, 97 was the first induction ceremony, which I was involved in. Uh, well, that was in Brandon, but uh, then once we got the museum going in 97 in, Bra in Morton, the, that's where the dinners have been held. 2-0 is high, three balls and no strikes. Do they serve you chicken, or do you get beef outside the perimeter? Uh, oh, we get chicken and beef. Oh, even better. Yeah. Uh, it's a buffet? Buffet, six lines, finished in 35 minutes. Clean up another 35. 3-0 is high, ball four, and Roberson will draw a walk. And the Gold Eyes will have the tie and run aboard here. Second walk issued by Nicholson, but the Gold Eyes have not been able to make him pay. And there's two on with two away for John Weber. And now I think that you're going to see Greg Taggart maybe utilize that left-hander out of that bullpen against the left-handed hitting John Weber. We'll see what Taggart does, the field manager of the Gary Social Railcat. So... A great night overall. You made a lot of people very happy, very emotional. You made some money to keep, of course, the Hall of Fame up and running. For those that have not been, just give us a brief synopsis on what the Hall of Fame has in Morton and why somebody would want to go down and see it, Jack. Well, if you go to Morton, travel to Morton, uh, even for the Corn and Apple Fester Festival, uh, there's a museum in the basement, uh, fossils. Uh, on the main floor, we have 4,500 square feet, which includes uh, uniforms from each of the years from 1910 right through to 2010. Uh, a lot of uh, pictures, uh, uh, murals of what it was like in tournament baseball in this province, uh, some, some pictures of Osborne Stadium and some of the stadiums around Winnipeg uh, and Manitoba over the last hundred years. So it's, uh, there's a lot to see there. And uh, we even have uh, the Field of Dreams, uh, uh, the ladies that uh, played baseball, in the Chicago area, played out of Wrigley Field and several other places. So there's a number of Manitobans that were recognized and inducted way back in 98, I believe it was. Uh, so that has some uh, memorabilia of what uniforms those girls wore during that time. So uh, there's a lot to see there. I have seen it personally, and it's very impressive. As you said, a recent expansion to it. And if you're down in the Morton area, it would be worth taking in for sure. Nolan Nicholson is done. Chuck Lukanen will come in. And we'll get a pitching change. Nicholson, three and a third, two hits, no runs, responsible for two. Two walks, one strikeout, as we're in the bottom of the fifth inning. Gary leading one nothing. And the Gold Eyes have runners at first and second with John Weber stepping up. And the pitching change brought to you by Johnson Waste Management, 4520909. So it'll be a lefty-lefty scenario here. 
and Lukanen, 5'11", 180, a rookie from Lombard, Illinois, was in Joliet of the Frontier League last year. He is 25 years old. Weber is 0 for the series. He's 0 for 7. Runners at first and second and two away. Lefty, lefty. Lukanen will look in to get the sign from Maddox. Weber waggling the bat from the left side. Big point in this game right here. First pitch. Breaking ball down and away. Ball one. For Lukanen, he makes his fourth appearance. No record. A three-flat ERA. Six innings. Three hits. Two Ernie's. A walk. Five strikeouts. Opposition hitting just 150 against him. The 1-0. Swung on, fouled away. One ball, one strike. Off the end of the bat, Weber not very happy with himself, and it's a ball and a strike. Well, what do you think of the Hall of Fame game now and the inaugural Hall of Fame game, which is today between the Gold Eyes and the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame? And what do you think of those Hamiota Red Sox uniforms? Well, first of all, we'd like to thank the Gold Eyes for giving us this opportunity to showcase uh, some of our teams and people who are inducted. It's a very nice gesture. Uh, it was a first. Uh, we have not had that opportunity before, and uh, certainly there was a good, very good turnout from the Hamiota Red Sox in 1986 to 90. There was 14 of them out uh, on the field, and uh, they really enjoyed the coming and being here uh, and seeing their uniforms. Whether <laughs> How much they'll pay for the uniforms in the silent auction, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> one ball, two strikes to Weber as he fouled one off. And this will be an annual, as I mentioned, it's the inaugural Hall of Fame game, but it will be something the Gold Eyes do every year. And Andrew Collier mentioned that yesterday. As Lukanen comes set, 1-2 pitch is high, 2-2 two two to Weber. Runner at second is Naradowski, over at first base is Roberson. Weber has bounced into a fielder's choice and then bounced out right side. He is 3 for 14 on the homestand, does not have a home run, he's driven in 10 on the year. Two balls and two strikes, two out, two on. one nothing. Gary, bottom five. And the 2-2. Two -two. Inside, three balls and two strikes to Weber, so the count runs full. Well, I think it's great that the Gold Eyes have now partnered to do this game. They'll wear a team that's going in every year's uniform, so next year it could be a Blue Jay or could be a Brandon Cloverleaf. You never know, right? Correct. Three balls, two strikes to John Weber. Looking in comes set. And the pitch. Breaking ball down and away. Ball four. And looking in misses with that 3-2. Curveball. And it's back-to-back -back walks. And here is Sarundel to Caster with the bases loaded. Four walks issued by Gary pitching this afternoon. Naradowski will get over to third. Roberson up to second. Weber will trot down to first base. And DeCaster, who's one for two today, will step in as a right-handed batter. This is another big point in this game. And now facing a left-handed pitcher. DeCaster with the only home run in this homestand so far. First pitch is a fastball high and away. Ball one. One run, three hits for Gary. No runs, four hits, and an error for Winnipeg. Gold Eyes haven't scored in 16 innings in this series. The 1 0. Swung on, that's hammered. High and deep to left center. Back goes Smith at the warning track, at the wall. He'll look up and pucker up and kiss it goodbye. A grand slam. Home run for Sarundel to Caster. Come one, come all. His third homer of the year. And the Gold Eyes lead it. Four to one. Baby. Absolute shot by DeCaster, his second home run of the homestand. Both have been multi-run shots. A three-run jack on opening night and a grand slam here this afternoon. And here's Luis Allen. First pitch. Swung on, chopper out towards short, charged by Haynes. 
And a running pickup and a throw to first, and that will end it. But the Gold Eyes, for the first time in a game and a half, score a run. And they have a big inning here in the bottom of the fifth. Four runs on two hits. Two walks factored in. Nobody left. We'll go to the sixth. Winnipeg leading 4-1 on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. What makes Tavern United Manitoba's number one sports pub? Service second to none. Food that's right on point and value that's big league all the way. And this summer, during Tavern United's Your Team, Your Tickets promotion, win weekly prizes and qualify to win season tickets to your Winnipeg Gold Eyes, Blue Bombers, and of course, the Jets. So get your friends together for some frothy fun, fabulous food, and guaranteed good times at your new world sports pub, Tavern United. Ever try sucking an orange through a straw? How about five? Oh, come on! It can happen, because we're blending up a difference at Jugo Juice. Our fresh fruit smoothies knock it out of the park with over five servings of fruit jammed into every 24-ounce cup. This season, make it a mini combo with a zesty Southwest chicken wrap. Get healthy on the go with Jugo Juice. Find us at Shaw Park and online at jugojuice.com. It's Ken with a solution for loneliness out here in the field. I'll tell you what Ken would do. Ken would keep a two-way radio in the cab. Prairie Mobile has the Kenwood two-way radios that'll keep you in touch with the family and help if you ever need it. Tough, long-range, economical, and very sociable. Say more with two-way radios from Kenwood. It's what Ken would do, and you should too. After the sale, it's the service that counts. Prairie Mobile, your Kenwood authorized dealer. Never miss the action with live Gold Eyes coverage on TSN 1290. Now, back to the voice of the Gold Eyes, here's Paul Edmonds. Well, we go to the sixth inning, and the Gold Eyes on one swing of the bat have four runs on a grand slam by Sarundel DeCaster, home run number three on the year. He leads the team in homers and leads the team with 16 RBI, and Ace Walker has a little bit of breathing room as Winnipeg is in front. By three and four to one, Mike Massaro will take the first pitch for a strike to start the sixth. It's Massaro, Mike Coles, and Rico Washington. The 0-1 is in there for a strike, and it's nothing in two hitters, two, three, and four. Well, the Gold Eyes hadn't scored in this series since the six-run fifth inning on Friday night. And the pitch swung on, popped up. Shallow center, back goes Naradowski, backpedaling. He's called off by the center fielder, Roberson, who gets there and makes the catch, and Massaro is out number one. I'm just going to tabulate it here. One, two, three, four. Nine is 13, plus three more, 16 innings. Was the shutout streak for the Gary Social Railcats. Here's Mike Coles. He's 0 for 1. Jack, just before I kind of wrap up on sort of the Hall of Fame, I want to just ask you, for people that don't know, and I'm kind of curious myself, when it says the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame, do you have to be from Manitoba to eventually get in? And the pitch is on the outside edge to start off Coles with a strike. What's the criteria, I guess? No, no, you don't have to be born in Manitoba, but you have to have played six years uh, in Manitoba and resided during the playing season to be qualified. So technically, Hal Lanier yeah. w- would qualify to be inducted uh, if he was uh, nominated and if the selection committee made a recommendation to the board. Pitch is in there for a strike, and it's nothing in two to Mike Coles. For example. Pitch is low, one and two. Dirk Gibbons, uh, a very good pitcher for the Brandon Grays. Uh, uh, the Mandak League uh, yep. was inducted, he, and he's still in baseball uh, down in Tampa, Florida, and he's one of our financial contributors as a patron, so he has been inducted. One ball, two strikes, the pitch, swung on, chopper out toward third, easily handled there by DeCaster, throw to first, and it pulled Mazzola off the bag, and Mazzola tried to get a tag, and Coles got by him and gets the hand on there. And for the third time, the Gold Eyes can't make a play at first base. And that will be an error. It'll be charged against DeCaster, just bad throw. 
And Winnipeg, that's the third time today on a play at first that should have been made with a good throw that Mazzola's had to come off the bag and try to get a sweeping tag. Here's Rico Washington in this sixth inning. Winnipeg leads it by three. That's the second error today charged for the Goldeyes. First pitch to Washington is outside ball one. So, okay, like, Hal Lanier didn't play, but he managed for 10 yep. years here. Yep. Max Poulin did play for for eight and yep. now is playing in Brandon. He could go in if somebody nominated him. Um, that is correct. The nominations close each year on August 15th. Pitch is swung on and fouled back, and that will find the roof, and it's one ball, one strike to Washington. And you could be a player. You could be recommended for player induction or a builder induction or, of course, team. Or if there's one year a team has done very well, it might be in the special category. But we are looking for nominations. We don't have as many backlog as we used to have 10 years ago. One ball, one strike. And the pitch. Runner on the move. Pitch is swung on. Bounce right side. Picked up nicely by Kendall. Bobbled it a little bit, but found it and fired as he was running toward the mound. Back toward first and gets Washington for the second out. And Sean Smith is the batter. And in putting the runner in motion, Coles gets to second. No chance for the double play. Two away. Runner at second base. And Sean Smith, the batter, he's 0 for 2 here today and 0 for 6 in the series. Well, that's good to know. You know, because I honestly think that at some point, Hal Lanier's name probably needs to come up. At some point, Max Poulin, when he's done playing, his name, name will need to come up. All right. You have to be out of baseball three years. First pitch, breaking ball, missed outside, ball one. Well, this is year one for Hal. Yeah. And the Gold Eyes do have a criteria as well for when they retire numbers or... or and they've been talking about sort of the... Uh, the wall of fame, if you will, or the honor roll. Pitch is in there for a strike. It's one and one. And one of the criteria is to be out of baseball entirely for a year, where it's three years for the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame, which is good to know. One ball, one strike. And, you know, let's face it, too. I mean, he's still managing. You don't know how long he's going to do it. But Rick Forney's been here since 97. 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball, swung on and missed, and it's 1-2. and two. As first off a pitcher, then pitching coach pitcher, then pitching coach, and now manager. So I would think that Rick would be considered as well when it's all done for Rick. And correct. that could be in another 15 or 20 years. You never know. Yeah, that's correct. And you and I could be doing this again on a Sunday <laughs> afternoon in 15 or 20. Let's hope. Yes, that would be nice. One ball, two strikes. Walker comes set in the pitch. Runner on the move to third. And a pitch in there for a called third strike. And that is it. Our home plate umpire forgot the count. And he called it like a regular strike and didn't ring up Sean Smith. But it is a called third strike. And that is it as Walker picks up his third strikeout of the afternoon. Real good bounce back inning for the Gold Eyes after getting that grand slam and four runs in the bottom of the fifth. They throw up a zero here in the sixth. No runs, no hits, one error, one left. One more half inning with Jack Callum when we come back. Gold Eyes lead it 4-1 on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Birthdays, office functions, tea parties, whatever. With Archangel Fireworks, every little event becomes a magical backyard affair. So go ahead, rock that next block party. Got a wedding? Bring something blue. And then blow it up. Whatever you do, make it a backyard affair with Archangel Fireworks. At Confusion Corner and online at archangelfireworks.com. The sky is your canvas. Got all your bases covered? With Manitoba Blue Cross, you do. They provide peace of mind for you and your family, no matter what the situation. Planning on taking a little family trip? Make sure to get travel coverage from Blue Cross. Looking for more benefits for your employees? Look no further than Blue Cross. They also handle individual life insurance. It's a real triple play. Contact your insurance broker or visit nb.bluecross.ca. Manitoba Blue Cross, the color of carry. The pros at Tradesman Mechanical Services are good people to know when life throws you a screwball that screws up your home's comfort zone. They're experts, so they can install and service all the latest York heating and air conditioning products. Tradesman Mechanical has a 24-hour service desk 
So when trouble strikes, call anytime. They service all makes and models because your comfort is their business. Tradesman Mechanical Services. They can help your home run better. Bottom of the sixth inning. And there was something going on over at third base in Greg Taggart. Field manager for Gary was out over there. And now Rick Forney will assume his spot. I think there's been a change defensively, and I'm trying to figure out who it might be. Adam Klein still out and left. Mike Massaro is still out in right. Sean Smith is still out in center field. Oh, it's Amos Ramon. At least on the gold eyes side here. Winnipeg leading by a score of four to one. And Ramon will lead it off to start off the bottom of six. And the first pitch to him is swung on and missed. As Amos will come in to pinch hit in Dan Barbero's spot. Here in any number six. And Lukanen's pitch is swung on and fouled at the plate, strike two. So Ramon pitch hitting here. Barbero for one with a walk. And Amos, one for four yesterday and one for seven in the series. Rico Washington still over at third. Mike Rohde still at first base. David Cooper is still at second. And Kyle Haynes should still be, yep, he's still at short. So, and the catcher's still Maddox. So, as the pitch is low, one and two, I don't see any change for Gary, but the one change here for Winnipeg is Amos Ramon pinch hitting. So, I don't know what Greg Taggart was out to talk with the umpires about over at third base. One, two. Swung on, that is hit on one hop out towards second, fielded by Cooper, throw to first, one away. And here's Josh Mazzola, who's one for two. So now we know about the criteria. We know that the Gold Eyes have partnered very nicely with the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame. We'll do it again next year, and I think it's one of those games, Jack Callum, where I you hope that it gets bigger and better every year. Yes, we would like to see that. And Mazzola, one for two here today, has a base hit, and also bounced out corner to corner on a nice play made by Rico Washington. Lucan in comes set, first pitch. Is low and inside, ball one. By the way, hi to Vancouver today. As we have listeners all over the place. Ah, Mike Coles was thrown out. That's it. Thank you very much. Mike Coles was thrown out of the baseball game. He was the DH. That's why we didn't see any change defensively. And the 1-0 is outside, two balls and no strikes. And I did not see that. It must have been from third base because Coles was on base. Yeah, it's over here. And he got thrown out likely by Joe Piscucci, the crew chief and third base umpire. 2-0 is outside, three balls and no strikes to Mazzola. So Mike Coles is ejected. That's the second rail cat to get tossed. In the baseball game, or actually in this series, Adam Klein was tossed on Friday night. Pitches in there for a strike, and it's 3-1. and one. So Cole's ejected in the sixth inning. And the Railcats, when his spot comes up, and it could come up in the seventh, but more likely in the eighth, they'll have to use a bench player. 3-1 is high, ball four. They won't need to lose their DH because they'll just simply swap another player off their bench for Coles. And I'm not sure what Coles was upset about. He was running from second to third. Now, the umpire at home called a third strike, but he didn't bring up Sean Smith like he was striking him out. But it was the third strike. The gold eyes knew it, and everybody went over to the dugout. And Coles must have said something and then got run. That's probably what it was about on the fact that the home plate umpires, Chaz Tadola, did not 
ring up Sean Smith and forgot the count. There was probably some barking. And there you go. Throw over to first base. Mazzola back in in time. Here's Ridge Carpenter. Lefty, lefty. Lukanen comes set. And the pitch. Swung on. Ground ball out toward first. Diving to his right is Rody. It went off his glove and spills right to the second baseman, Cooper. He comes over, picks it up and underhands it back to Rody, who got back toward the base quickly. And they get Carpenter for the out. How about this? 3-4-3 three, three on the putout. And there's two away runner at second base. Mazzola gets there. And here's David Narodowski. Hard hit ball off the bat of Carpenter, who's 0 for 3 now today. But Rody stopped most of it. And it went off the end of his glove out to Cooper. Rody got back up off his chest after diving to his right. And got a position to take that underhand toss from Cooper. And they get Rich Carpenter. Here's Narodowski, who's 1 for 2. Lukanen comes set. The Gold Eyes lead at 4-1. First pitch is on the outside edge for a strike. Jack Callum, you're also involved with the Winnipeg Gold Eyes fan club. And you guys want to take another road trip. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, we're hoping to go to uh, Sioux City and Kansas City. A uh, six-day road trip uh, on July the 30th to August the 4th. 01 is low, 1-1. One one. We have reduced the price down to $625, which is very reasonable according to people uh, I know in the travel business, uh, plus a $15 membership fee. Includes bus transportation, five nights hotels based on double occupancy, four gold eye games, post game meal with the gold eye team, uh, sightseeing in Kansas City. 1 1, swung on, bounce out toward third, to his right, a backhanded pickup by Washington, and he turns and fires to get the out at first base. And then coming home was Mazzola, but the inning was already over with two away. So Naradowski gets thrown out 5 3 going across the diamond with a nice play made by Rico Washington, and Winnipeg is done in the bottom of the sixth. Hang on to that thought. We'll let you finish it when we come back to the top of the seventh. No runs, no hits, and one left. Top of seven is next. We're through six. 4-1 Winnipeg on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Downtown Winnipeg is the place to be this summer. Get downtown and enjoy fun festivals, concerts, and tours. Catch a Gold Eyes game, visit exceptional shopping and dining districts, get a taste for Winnipeg's distinct urban culture, and check out the Out to Lunch concert series with free music downtown every Wednesday at noon all summer long. For info on concert locations and other downtown events, visit downtownwinnipegbiz.com. Get down this summer. Downtown. The Greenwood Inn and Suites invites you to make it your home base for an overnight stay, your next meeting, or social event. You can even make it a home run with all-day dining or Sunday brunch at Dalton's. Enjoy the first-class service and facilities the Greenwood Inn and Suites has to offer. To book your next day, visit the website at greenwoodwinnipeg.com or call 775-9889. 775-9889. The Greenwood Inn and Suites, putting the friendly in friendly Manitoba. Golf. It's so much more fun when it's all for a good cause. Join the Winnipeg Gold Dives Field of Dreams Foundation for the 18th Annual Charity Golf Tournament, Monday, July 23rd at Bell Acres Golf and Country Club. Your entry fee includes lunch, power cart, fantastic steak dinner, and prizes. Proceeds go to the Gold Dives Field of Dreams Foundation to help support local children's charities. And a portion of your entry fee will be tax deductible. Space is limited, so book early. Call 982-BASE for details. It's time to get back into the action. Batter up, turn it up. This is Gold Eyes Baseball on TSN 1290. Now back to the voice of the Gold Eyes, Paul Edmonds. Awesome defensive changes for the Gold Eyes. We'll tell you about that in a sec. Kyle Haynes waits on the first pitch from Ace Walker, who works into his seventh. 4-1 Winnipeg in front. And it's ball one. Now the changes here as... Dan Barbero comes out of the baseball game. Pitches on the outside edge for a strike. Josh Mazzola moves from first base out to right to replace Barbero defensively. The 1-1. Change up is high. Two balls and one strike. And Amos Ramon comes into the baseball game. Of course, he was the pinch hitter for Barbero last inning. He'll go into third. And then Sarundel DeCaster will shift over and go from third to first and replace Mazzola. 
pitch. Swung on, lined over first base, down the right field line, over the corner to pick it up as Mazzola tried to knock it down, couldn't, got back in behind him, and Haynes will stride for second base. He'll probably score a double on that, and the batter is Mike Rohde. Gold Eyes have a left-hander up in the bullpen getting loose. That is hit number four for the Railcats. And if it is a double, which I believe it is, it'll be their third extra base hit of the four hits they have today. Barrett Phillips, the lefty, getting loose in the bullpen. Here's Rohde. He's 0 for 2 against Walker today. 4-1, the Gold Eyes are in front. First pitch. Swung on, filleted down the left field line, but foul. So again, Ramon stays in the game after pinch hitting for Barbero. And he goes to third. DeCaster shifts from third to first. Mazzola from first out into right. That's the gold eyes changes. I'm told that Mike Coles was actually thrown out by home plate umpire, Chaz Stadola. And we can pretty much assume that that was over the fact that Stadola missed making the actual called third strike gesture on Sean Smith and probably goes back a little earlier when Coles got right in the home player's face, home plate umpire's face, when he struck out looking back in the first inning. Remember that? We're here in the seventh, 4-1 Winnipeg. Rody went and got a new bat. He broke his bat on that first pitch. It's strike one. Walker comes set. The pitch is outside. One ball and one strike. Rody 0 for 2 today. He's flied out to center field both times. Jack Callum, just a Another thought on that road trip sounds like fun. You're looking for more people. You've reduced the price. It will be Sioux City in Kansas City. The 1-1 one, one. swung on, fouled away, and 1-2 and two is the count to Rody. One of the best parts of the road trip is the sightseeing, the baseball games, but also dinner with the Gold Eyes. That is correct. Uh, on the Wednesday night, I think we're planning uh, in Kansas City to have the, the dinner with the Gold Eyes. Uh, there's also, we're staying at the Country Inn Suites, a nice facility quite close to the ballpark parking lot and uh, quite close to casinos and shopping. And we need a deposit uh, for each individual by... uh, Breaking ball is hit to straightaway center field. Roberson going back, 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 and that's off the warning track and off the wall. They're going to wave in Haynes. Rohde will stop at second base with an RBI double. And there you go. Mike Rohde has cracked Ace Walker three times today. Finally, one lands over the head of the center fielder, Roberson for Winnipeg. It's an RBI double. It's 4-2 to two for the Gold Eyes, but back-to-back doubles here, and Rick Forney has seen enough. Craig Maddox is going to see a left-hander, and Ace Walker will likely come out of the baseball game and get paid off nicely when he does by the fans here is Craig Maddox a left-handed batter, and that will be it for Ace. All right. We'll take a timeout, a 70-second timeout across the network on the pitching change. We'll do that right now. Walker's done. Phillips Day will start right now. 4-2 Winnipeg on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Sports fans, TSN 1290 and TSN1290.ca have your day planned for you. It begins with breakfast and a ride to work with the big show with Jay and Westwood. And minus is a misleading statistic. How the hell is that, Jay? How can you win a game if you're minus? Then there's coffee with the herd. I got news for you. Andrew Luck is better than 10 quarterbacks in the NFL today. And an afternoon with Jim Rome. When did it stop being interesting? Then we'll take you home with Hostler and Lawless. I think pound for pound. I think we're the best fans in the league. What do you guys think? Well, I'll tell you what. I get the exact same feeling as you're talking about. We're competing on a major, major landscape against all these other places. I think it's a great story. And the fans of the Jets, you bet. They're right up there with anyone else. Mornings, afternoons, and all day long. It's TSN 1290 and TSN1290.ca. All sports. Score! All the time. the seventh. Back-to-back doubles for Gary. They are within two and four to two. Kyle Haynes has scored. Mike Rohde's driven in a run. His seventh. 
And his second double of the series, and Craig Maddox will come in to be the batter, and he'll face new pitcher Barrett Phillips, a left-hander, who will get his complement of eight warm-up pitches. Ace Walker, six-plus innings, five hits, two runs. They're both third, responsible for one. He leaves as the pitcher of record on a winning side. He can win it. He can't lose it. He could have a no decision. A walk, three strikeouts. Pitching change brought to you by Johnson Waste Management, 4520909. And here's Phillips, a left-hander from South Carolina, to face Craig Maddox, who's one for two today. Phillips, 6 feet, 175, 21 years old. And there's nobody out in the inning. For Phillips, his eighth appearance, no record of 477 ERA. Five and two-thirds innings, seven hits, three earned runs, three walks, two strikeouts, opposition batting 350 against him. First pitch is inside, ball one. Okay, what's the dates on that road trip again? Yes, it's uh, July the 30th to uh, Monday to Saturday, August the 4th. $625 plus $15 for membership. The contact person... Pitch is in there for a strike. It's one and one. It's Allison Burns at 786-3922. And we need 10 people by the 13th to make this trip viable. And I've been on five of them, so uh, I think... 1-1 one, one, has swung on, hit off the end of the bat, rolled out toward third, up with it, Ramon. And he looks the runner back, Rody to second, throws a strike to first, one away. Yes, I, anybody who's been on them certainly enjoyed themselves, and we encourage you to get your uh, application in and phone Allison so that we can make this trip viable and uh, get on the road. Here's David Cooper. He's 0 for 2. So one down, one in, runner at first, or actually at second base. Trying to think, two years ago was Lake County. Last year you guys went to... Uh, we went to Sioux Falls. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, it was in Sioux Falls, and we went and had dinner at the... Mm. Oh, that Australian joint. Yeah, I forget the name of it now, but... Outback. Outback, yes. But there's certainly... The bus takes the people to the shopping centers in the area, and uh, we'll be going to Kaufman Field this year. Kaufman Field? Yeah. One ball, no strikes to David Cooper. Gold Eyes lead it 4-2 to two here. We're at the top of the seventh inning. One out, one on. Right-hander getting loose in the bullpen now for Winnipeg, and it looks like Kaui Downing. And you're looking for ten more people. Correct. And you need that by the 13th of June. Yeah, we have to make a deposit on the bus uh, on, I think, the 15th of June. We have a meeting on the 14th. 1-0 is low, two balls and no strikes. How many you got so far? 12 or 13. Okay. Well, the more the merrier. Correct. And it's pretty cheap for 600 bucks. Yes, the people from McPhail Travel uh, wondered how we were able to do it at that price. Pitch is inside and low, 3-0 to Cooper. Lefty, lefty here, Adam Klein stands on deck. Another left-handed batter. Cooper today is lined out and popped out to the right side of the diamond twice. The pitch is inside, ball four. And Rick Forney's seen enough, and you wonder if he's going to bring in Kaohe Downing. So, Barrett Phillips... Walks a batter to put two on. And that will bring the go-ahead run to the plate in Adam Klein. And Phillips will hand the ball over to his field manager. And that will be it for him. And the Gold Eyes will get a little deeper into the bullpen in Kauhi Downing. Well, maybe we'll leave it at that, Jack. Thanks very much for coming by and spending some time and a few innings on the Hall of Fame. And then also with the fan club I'll make a note and kind of pass it along again that you guys need 10 more people by the 13th, as uh, I have that as well. And again, you can contact Allison Burns. You can call the Gold Eyes office if you're not sure. They will put you in touch with somebody from the fan club to get you with your membership all hooked up. And then if you want to go on the road trip as well. Thanks very much. Great to see you, Jack. My pleasure. Jack Callum, board member of the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame and also 
Big support of the Winnipeg Gold Ice Baseball Club and a member of the fan club. Downing will come in when we come back. Back in 70 again. Gold Eyes are in a little bit of trouble here. 4-2. They lead it, but two on and one out for Gary in the seventh on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. For football. One of the best trades ever in the history of the CFL, arguably, to get Doug Brown here for basically a box of tape. For hockey. The first four guys in the NHL draft most years are can't miss. Nothing but sports. You lead the league in anonymous quotes. You also lead the league in dysfunction. When sports is your passion. There's an emotion in the city, and it permeates the dressing room and the players. They all feel it. Turn to the station that's even crazier about sports than you are. I want to be like the Road Warriors. They had the football pads with the spikes coming out and then all the face paint and stuff. As long as you wear tight shorts, I'm in. I heard that about you. <laughs> <laughs> Spiky shoulder pads and Nine. tight shorts. I think you still got the panties somewhere around here, Troy, if you want to slip into something a little more comfortable. <laughs> Troy really is a sensitive guy. I want spikes and shoulder pads and, like, mean-looking face paint. Troy wants tights. Well, almost as crazy. <laughs> TSN 1290. All sports. All the time. Well, we're in the seventh, one out and two on, and Kaohe Downing is the third pitcher of the afternoon for the Gold Eyes. Barrett Phillips, one-third of an inning, no hits, responsible for one. He walked one, no strikeouts. Pitching James Johnson, waste management, 4-5-2-0-9-0-9. Adam Klein, one for three. He'll be the batter in a left-handed stick. Downing will climb to the top of the hill. And Kaohe is still listed as a rookie. 25 years old, 5'11", 180. Did not pitch last year. 4-2 Winnipeg leads it, but they're in a pickle to pitch. First one is inside decline, ball one. For Downing from Honolulu, Hawaii... He makes his seventh appearance. He's 3-0 with a 193 ERA. Nine and a third innings. The pitch in there for a strike. It's one and one. Eight hits, two earned runs, two walks, ten strikeouts, and the opposition batting 235 against him. One ball, one strike. Gold Eyes looking for something on the ground here. They've turned one double play already today. Downing comes set, 1-1. One, one is in there for a strike. Great fastball at the knees of Adam Klein, and it's one and two. Klein reached in an air in the first, doubled and scored in the fourth, and bounced out to first base in the fifth. One out, two on, one in. 4-2 Winnipeg, each team with five hits. They've charged now three errors on the gold eyes. The pitch is inside, two and two. And it must be the error in this inning to make the third one a single and then an error charged on Mazzola in right field when he missed the ball and knocking it down and Haynes went to second base. 2-2. Swung on. Lined out toward left field right at Rich Carpenter. He'll make the catch. Quick throw to second. Not in time. Back in in time is Rody. So a line out to left and there's two away. And a great throw by Carpenter to second base. And here's Mike Massaro, who's one for three. And Massaro's hit into a double play, hit a bunt single, and then flown out. 4-2 Winnipeg in front. We usually have a look here a little earlier at what the Gold Eyes are doing this week. Brought to you by Boston Pizza. Try Boston Pizza's all-meat wings. This summer, nothing goes better with BP's all-meat wings than all beer beer, the pitch. Is high, ball one. Boston Pizza here to make you happy. Well, the Gold Eyes finish up the homestand today, and they are on the road for the next week. Four in Lincoln starting tomorrow night. Then next weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday afternoon in Fargo. We'll have all the games for you. The 1-0 is inside two balls and no strikes. We're on our flagship station, TSN 1290, and we'll have Tuesday and Sunday's games upcoming here on the network. Two balls, no strikes. Downing has fallen behind, and the pitch is in there for a strike, and it's two and one. Massaro batting 3-11, a homer and nine driven in. He has four hits in 11 trips in the series. The 2-1. 
Swung on, line to right field. That'll be taken on a hop by Mazzola. Here he's going to come up throwing. They're going to wave in the runner. The plate, the plate. They are going to get Rooney at home. Great throw by Mazzola. A big assist from right field. A hit for Massaro, but the out at home goes 9-2. to two, And the inning ends at home plate. And the Gold Eyes preserve a two-run lead. Big throw from Josh Mazzola. Came up chucking and delivered a strike from right field. For Gary, a run on three hits. A Gold Eye error. And two left. After six and a half stretch time in my hometown, we invite you, wherever you are today, to get up with us and do the same. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh when we come back. Winnipeg leads at 4-2 on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Luxury, convenience, comfort. Have it all with Premier Executive Suites. For business travelers who are always on the move, Premier Executive Suites is your home away from home. You can relax in your comfortable living room, grab a midnight snack in your complete kitchen, and do that last-minute load of laundry with your handy in-suite washer and dryer. Book your extended stay in Winnipeg with Premier Executive Suites. Visit PremierSuites.com to make your booking today. Take more of your life with you with Premier Executive Suites. Milwaukee tools continue to revolutionize the cordless power tool industry with the introduction of M18 Fuel, an exclusive line of extreme performance cordless power tools designed, engineered, and built by Milwaukee to deliver unmatched productivity. When you use an M18 tool with the fuel name, you know you've invested in the most advanced cordless technology available. Simply put, fuel delivers unmatched power, runtime, and durability on the job site. Fuel built for the industrial industry. I've been drinking Coca-Cola since I was 13. My mom, she packed one with my lunch every day. Been drinking it ever since. Until yesterday, that is. I tried a Pepsi at the Ultimate Taste Challenge. Turns out I like Pepsi. Who knows what else I've been wrong about? Heck, I might like that gangster rap. You'd be surprised who prefers the taste of Pepsi. Ooh, that sounds good. Go to Pepsi Canada on Facebook to find out where you can take the Ultimate Taste Challenge. Bottom of the seventh inning. We welcome you back. Gold Eyes lead at 4-2. An exciting play by Josh Mazzola in right field to get Mike Rohde trying to score from second to end the inning. Kendall, Roberson, and Weber against Chuck Lukanen. First pitch. Kendall showed bunt, pulled back, took on the outside corner for a strike. Kendall 0 for 2 with a walk today. Have a look at the answer to trivia in the bottom of the seventh. Gold Eyes getting four runs and a grand slam in the fifth by Sarundel to Caster. Pitch is low and inside. One ball, one strike. Gary is chipped away with, well, Singleton's in the fourth and fifth. And they have some people loosening the bullpen as well. Lucan in works into his third, 1-1. One, one. Outside, two balls, one strike. He was the one that gave up. The grand slam to DeCaster. For DeCaster, his third home run of the year, and he has 16 RBI to lead the team in both those categories. Pitch, swing and a miss. Two and two to Kendall. Price extended a streak today to 15 straight games in that he has reached base safely in all 15. He drew a walk back in the third, but he's sentless today. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. 2-2. Swung on, fouled back. Good hack there, and it's still two balls, two strikes. It's Kendall, Roberson, and then Weber. Kendall batting 288 coming in. No homers and eight driven in. He flew out to left field today on a hard hit ball that kind of got blown right in toward Adam Klein, the pitch. Swung on, line to center field. That'll drop for a base hit. Lead off single for Price Kendall here. And he has hits now in 14 of 15 games to start the year. And the batter is Chris Roberson, one for two of the walk. And as I mentioned, a right-hander getting loose in that bullpen. Will Kraut for the Gary Social Railcats. 
Roberson steps around, bats from the right side. For the first time today against the left-hander, Lukanen. First pitch. Going to show bunt. Tried to bunt. Broke the plane of the plate. Committed at it. Missed it. Strike one. Trivia today brought to you, as always, by the Place Louis Riel Suite Hotel in downtown Winnipeg. Place Louis Riel specializing in spacious executive suites. And a throw over to first and Kendall back in in time. Price is two for two on the base paths this year, if you're wondering. But against the left-hander, a little bit tougher to get that good lead. I'm seeing a few drops of rain. The 0-1 and a bunt. Pushed up the first base line, picked up by Lukanen, and he throws to first base, and they get Roberson. So the Gold Eyes had the sacrifice in mind the whole time. And Roberson drops a bunt, sacrifices himself. Kendall gets the second. Now John Weber will have a chance to drive him in. Question on trivia today. Who was the last Gold Eyes player to record 125 or more hits in a season? Congratulations to East Kildonans. Paul Rodzinski. He knew the answer to be Price Kendall. He had 135 last year to lead the team in his Rookie of the Year campaign in the American Association. As Greg Taggart has come out to have a little chat, and now the skipper for the Gary Social Railcats will trot back toward that first base dugout. John Weber, the battery's 0 for 2 of the walk. It'll be a lefty-lefty matchup here. Yes, Bryce Kendall led the team in hits last year. 135. It's the last gold eye to have 125 or more. And Weber 0 for 2 today. 0 for 7 in the series. Lukanen will come set. First pitch. Swung on, fell back to the screen. Old Eyes did not have a 125 plus hitter in 2009 nor in 03 but in all those other years 01, Carmen Capuccio Harry Berrios, Brent Sachs 02, 04 Berrios in 05 Lentini in 06, 07, 08 Diaz and West in 2010, the 0 1. Oh, way inside, and Weber just got hit by a pitch. And he will trot down to first base. Well, no, he won't trot. He will walk slowly down to first base. And the wind has picked up here, and I think we're getting some showers, or we're getting some rain. And here comes Greg Taggart. We'll get the second visit of the inning, and that will automatically spell relief. So deeper into the bullpen, Gary will get, and they'll bring in their closer, Will Kraut. Gold eyes are in front, 4-2, and we'll get another call to the bullpen. So a 70-second timeout once again, and Will Kraut will come in. That'll be it for Chuck Lukanen. Gold eyes have two on and one out on this pitching change here in the bottom of seven on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Support your own. The Gold Eyes and Fort Gary Brewing. Located right here in Winnipeg, Fort Gary Brewing is Manitoba's number one brewery. Crafting a full spectrum of delicious beers and ales, including the award-winning Fort Gary Dark and fan favorite Fort Gary Pale, both of which are available at Shaw Park. So cheer on the home team. Fort Gary Brewing, Manitoba made, Manitoba zone. From the diamond to the driveway, from weekend warrior to world-class pro, local athletes are choosing Manitoba pork for peak performance. Loaded with lean, high-quality protein and essential vitamins and minerals, pork is a powerhouse of nutrition for serious athletes. For a real competitive edge, choose Manitoba pork, fueling today's athletes. Learn more about pork for peak performance at manitobapork.com. You're listening to Gold Ice Baseball Live on TSN 1290. Brought to you in part by Avalon and the Gulf Dome. Will Crow will be the new pitcher here for the 
Here we South Shore Railcats. The Gold Eyes says we get a little sprinkle of rain here at downtown. We knew it was coming at some point, but we're into the seventh here, which is good. And there's one out and two on. That's it for Chuck Lukanen. He goes one and two thirds innings. Came in and got the last out of the fifth, but gave up the grand slam. Worked the sixth, and now has worked one out here in the seventh. And for Lukanen, he's allowed two hits. One run, and responsible for two. A walk, no strikeouts, and here is Sarundel DeCaster to face Will Kraut. Pitching change for Johnson Waste Management, 4-5-2-0-9-0-9. First pitch is a breaking ball in there for a strike. DeCaster, a grand slam here this afternoon. And that came in that fifth inning. The Gold Eyes took the lead at that point and are still leading here. Looking for another key hit with two on and one out. The 0-1 is in there for a strike, and it's nothing and two. We saw Will Kraut last night. He worked an inning, gave up a hit, no runs, no walks, and no strikeouts. And Will Kraut, 6'4", 235, a right-hander from California. Second year with Gary. And the 0-2 pitch. Swung on, guided down the right field line, foul. Strike two. Again, congratulations to Paul Rodzinski of EK. He knew the answer today on trivia was Price Kendall. He was the last gold eye was Kendall to produce 125 hits or more in a single season. He did it last year. Price had 135. The pit swung on and fouled back. And Paul picks up a pair of gold eye tickets to a future home game and is also eligible to win the grand prize of a weekend stay at the Place Louis at the end of the season. We'll do it again tomorrow night from Lincoln, Nebraska. Got a final in the American Association. Newark beat St. Paul. That's good news for the Gold Eyes. 0-2 inside. One ball and two strikes. As DeCaster had to get out of the way of that, just about lost his balance. DeCaster's two for three today. That grand slam was his second hit. He had a single to lead off the fourth. 4-2 Winnipeg in front. Four runs, six hits, three errors. Two and six for Gary no errors. 1-2. Breaking ball swung on. Bounced out toward third. Fielded there by Washington. Steps on third for one. Throws across to double off to Caster. And the Gold Eyes are done in the bottom of this seventh inning. No runs. One hit. One left. We'll go to the eighth. Gold Eyes by two at 4-2 on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Hello. Ken Plain here. If you're looking for a foundation contractor that you can trust, go with Avalon. But don't just take my word for it. For over 40 years, people in Winnipeg and surrounding areas have gone with Avalon for their foundation issues. So you know that you are dealing with professionals. To learn more, log on to AvalonWinnipeg.ca. Go with the name you trust. Go with Avalon Construction. Milwaukee Tools continue to revolutionize the cordless power tool industry with the introduction of M18 Fuel, an exclusive line of extreme performance cordless power tools designed, engineered, and built by Milwaukee to deliver unmatched productivity. When you use an M18 tool with the fuel name, you know you've invested in the most advanced cordless technology available. Simply put, fuel delivers unmatched power, runtime, and durability on the job site. Fuel built for the industrial industry. Go. It's so much more fun when it's all for a good cause. Join the Winnipeg Gold Dives Field of Dreams Foundation for the 18th Annual Charity Golf Tournament, Monday, July 23rd at Bell Acres Golf and Country Club. Your entry fee includes lunch, power cart, fantastic steak dinner, and prizes. Proceeds go to the Gold Dives Field of Dreams Foundation to help support local children's charities. And a portion of your entry fee will be tax deductible. Space is limited, so book early. Call 982-BASE for details. You're listening to Gold Ice Baseball Live on TSN 1290. Brought to you in part by Avalon and the Golf Dome. We go to the sixth inning. And the new DH is Brian Kolb for Mike Coles, who's ejected from the 
baseball game in the sixth. When he was actually a base runner between second and third. First pitch from Downing is low ball one. So Brian Kolb leads it off for the eighth. It's Kolb, Washington, and Smith. The pitch is high. Two balls and no strikes. 4-2. What a pig is in front. Newark defeated St. Paul today in the Manitoba Blue Cross out of town scoreboard 7-1. The 2-0 is low. Three balls and no strikes. You don't want to start walking people here, especially to lead off. Ryan Kolb played the last couple of nights. He was two for four yesterday. He pitches in there for a strike. Had a double, scored a run. And so far is three for eight in the series is Brian Kolb. And coming in to hit for Coles. The pitch is on the inside. Nope, didn't get it from home plate umpire Chaz Tadola. It is indeed a leadoff walk. Bringing the potential tie and run to the plate in Rico Washington. And Washington, 0 for 3 today. Lincoln Sioux Falls are tied at 2 in the 7th. Wichita leading Grand Prairie, 7-2 in the 5th. They're looking for their 11th straight win. First pitch to Washington's on the outside edge for a strike. And I think whatever rain that we had is... Ceased. 505 Amarillo at KC. 605 Fargo at Sioux City. The pitch swung on, fouled back, and it's nothing in two to Washington. And 630 El Paso and Laredo tonight down in South Texas. We're in the eighth inning. Let's have a look at inside the numbers here. And we do that for Recycle Everywhere. Dot CA. 02 swung on, popped up. Left field, long run. Striding, Naradowski, and into foul ground, he'll make the catch. What a grab by David Naradowski, coming a long way in full sprint into foul territory and almost into his bullpen. And there's one away as Rico Washington is retired, and here is Sean Smith. He's 0 for 3 today. Inside the numbers brought to you by Recycle Everywhere, working together to make a way from home recycling commonplace. To learn more, visit RecycleEverywhere.ca. You know, recycled aluminum cans are used again for the production of new cans or for the production of other valuable aluminum products. And a bunt attempt fouled back by Smith, strike one, such as engine blocks, building facades, or bicycles. I did not know that. There's Sean Smith, 0 for 7 in the series. He has struck out three times. Hitting 435 coming in. Kaohe Downing will come set. The 0-1. Breaking ball is a little bit high. 1-1. One and one. Nick Carr is throwing in the bullpen for the Gold Eyes. They would like to get Downing through this eighth inning and then turn it over to Carr for the ninth with the gold eyes. 4-2 Winnipeg in front. We're in the eighth. 1-1. Fastball down and away. Smith showed bunt again. Takes. This time it's two balls and one strike. For Downing on his numbers, remember he is... Kind of the ultimate utility guy. He can pitch and play positionally. Pitch is high, three and one. And last year advanced to triple A as a hitter. Had eight at bats and played three games, had one hit. And those eight. A.B.'s hit 125, 3-1. In there for a strike, and it's 3-2. It was 1-8 for eight last year, Triple A Fresno. Did have a homer last year and drove in 19 with Salem Kaiser. Three balls, two strikes. 
And the pitch, runner on the move, pitch is swung on, and a tapper back to Downing, fields that, look towards second, decides just to throw to first. Kolb advances to second base. Smith is out number two, and Kyle Haynes will be the batter. So a 1-3 put out. Downing started his career in 09 with the Giants. He pitched there in 09 and in 2010. Then he became a positional player in the Giants system. So in total, he spent three seasons, 09, 10, and 11 with the Giants. Two as a pitcher, one as a positional player. Back to pitching this year. First pitch is high to Haynes. Ball one. Haynes batting from the left side against the right-hander in Downing. He's one for two here today with a walk and a run scored. Runner at second base, two away. The pitch is just outside and in and out of the glove of Luis Allen. Two balls and no strikes. 4-2, the Gold Eyes are in front. Winnipeg's made three errors here today. DeCaster's made one. Mazzola's made one. And Naradowski, the 2-0 is low. Three balls, no strikes. Mike Rohde stands on deck. So Downing has fallen behind each of the hitters here. He walked one, has now got a pop-out and a ground-out. The pop-out was a great play made by Naradowski. And fallen behind Kyle Haynes here at 3-0. and And a 3-0 pitch. Low ball four. Well, that puts two on, and here comes Rick Forney. And that might be it for Kaohi Downing as Rick might try to squeeze four outs out of his closer's arm. And Nick Carr. Carr's been throwing down to that bullpen, and now we're getting rain once again. Not very hard, I would say just spinning, to use a kid's term. And that's it for Downing, and we'll get another pitching change. This one coming your way, 70 seconds as always. Downing done. Carr will trot in when we come back. 4-2 Winnipeg, two out, two on in the eighth on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Commissioners, Manitoba's premier security solutions provider will take care of your home security needs the next time you go away on vacation. Commissioner's team of bonded professionals will check on your home and help satisfy your insurance requirements. They do interior and exterior patrols and make your home look lived in. Visit their website at commissioners.mb.ca for more information about their house watch service. Commissioner's, trusted every day, everywhere. Recycle everywhere. It's a swing, and he popped it up. Has he got it? The ball was caught, but not by a glove, Mike. Looks like it landed inside a recycle everywhere bin. I'd recognize that little blue bird anywhere. They're everywhere these days. Beverage container recycling is expanding in Manitoba. Look for recycle everywhere bins at Shaw Stadium and other public places. Visit us at recycleeverywhere.ca. Recycle everywhere. It's time to get back into the action. Batter up. Turn it up. This is Gold Eyes Baseball on TSN 1290. Now back to the voice of the Gold Eyes, Paul Edmonds. Well, we're still in the eighth inning. And Mike Rohde will be the batter. He'll face the fourth pitcher of the afternoon for Winnipeg in Nick Carr. Downing's done. One and one third innings. One hit. Responsible for two. Two walks. No strikeouts, and Nick Carr, the right-hander, comes in as the fourth pitcher today. Pitch and change brought to you by Johnson Waste Management, 4-5-2-0-9-0-9. And Carr will get loose with his complement of eight warm-up pitches. 6 195 25 years old from Idaho, was in the Mets system. For Nick, he's the Gold Eyes closer. He makes his eighth appearance. He's 1 0 with a 135 ERA. Three saves. This would be a safe situation. If he can lock it down, the Gold Eyes will need four outs to do that. Six and two thirds innings, four hits, one earned run, a walk, seven strikeouts, opposition batting 160 against him. Here's Rody 
who is one for three today in all three times he faced Ace Walker. A long pause, first pitch. Way inside, ball one, and Rody skips backward out of the way of that. Rody lined out to center, flew out to center, then had an RBI double to center. One for three today. Ryan Cole at second. Kyle Haynes is at first base. Carr will come sat in the pitch. It is low. Three balls and no strikes. Brody hitting 245. No homers and seven driven in. 4 2 Winnipeg in front. We're in the eighth. And Winnipeg's bullpen having some problems throwing strikes. The 2 0. Swung on. Slashed down the left field line, but foul. And way in a play. 2 and 1. Drops of rain falling here. Two balls, one strike to Rody. Play continues. Some folks have vacated their seats to get to higher ground and watch the play from underneath the overhang. On the concourse, 2-1. Low and inside, three balls and a strike. Some umbrellas have popped up. Three and one to Mike Rohde. Two on and two away for Gary. Car comes set in the pitch. Fastball inside, ball four, and he walked them. They have walked the bases loaded here in the eighth inning. And the batter will be Craig Maddox. So Carr comes in and walks the first batter that he sees. And Maddox is one for three on the afternoon. And he'll stride in from the left-hand side. He's looking down to third base coach Dennis Palfrey. But it'll be swing away here, I'm sure, with two away. Carr will come set. Another left-handed batter. First pitch is right down Portage in Maine for a strike at 91 on the gun. Strike one. Maddox batting 226. A homer and seven driven in. He's doubled here this afternoon. The 0-1. Breaking ball on the outside edge for a strike. And it's nothing and two. Nothing and two to Craig Maddox, the catcher today for Gary. Bases are loaded and two away. We're in the eighth. Winnipeg leaning by two. At four to two, Carr comes set. And the pitch. Breaking ball swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. And the inning ends at home plate with a big strikeout for Nick Carr. For Gary, no runs, no hits. Three walks issued by the Gold Eyes bullpen. No errors. And three left. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Gold Eyes lead at 4 2 on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Friday, the quest for European football supremacy begins. All eyes are on Poland as the co host nation kicks off against the 2004 champions, Greece. Then, the dark horse Russians look to start the tournament strong against the Czech Republic. 16 teams, one trophy. Who will be crowned the kings of Europe? UEFA Euro 2012 begins at 10 a.m. on TSN. Support your own. The Gold Eyes and Fort Gary Brewing. Located right here in Winnipeg, Fort Gary Brewing is Manitoba's number one brewery. Crafting a full spectrum of delicious beers and ales including the award-winning Fort Gary Dark and fan favorite Fort Gary Pale, both of which are available at Shaw Park. So cheer on the home team. Fort Gary Brewing, Manitoba made, Manitoba's own. From the diamond to the driveway, from weekend warrior to world-class pro, local athletes are choosing Manitoba Pork for peak performance. Loaded with lean, high-quality protein and essential vitamins and minerals, pork is a powerhouse of nutrition for serious athletes. For a real competitive edge, choose Manitoba Pork, fueling today's athletes. Learn more about pork for peak performance at manitobapork.com. 
Well, we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. We welcome you back. My name is Paul Edmonds. Alex Albany back at our flagship station in South Winnipeg. He is producing across the network here. Luis Allen to lead it off. Gold eyes are in front 4-2. Bottom of eight. Will Kraut's first pitch is on the inside edge for a strike. Allen is 0-3 today, and he is 1-7 for seven in the series. 0-1. Swung on, line by third into left field for a base hit. And the Gold Eyes have their seventh hit on the afternoon and a leadoff single here in the bottom of eight. And the batter is Amos Ramon. He came in to pinch hit for Dan Barbero. Two innings ago, he was 0 for 1 as he bounced out to second base. He'll look down hard at Rick Forney. I'm thinking Winnipeg's got a bunt here. I think Winnipeg will play small ball here. And Will Kraut working into his second inning. We'll deliver the pitch, and Amos will push a bunt. Right side of the infield, picked up by Kraut, and he tries to shovel the first, and he does, with Cooper, the second baseman, covering the bag just to get Amos Ramon. There was almost a little, I got it, you take it over there, but it's a sacrifice that goes 1-4, and Kraut didn't even barehand that baseball. He got it with his glove and just sort of, sort of shoveled it over toward first base. Luis Allen gets the second. And a runner in scoring position for Josh Mazzola, who's one for two of the walk. And the Gold Eyes would like to put on a little insurance here. 4-2, they lead it. First pitch. Right down the middle for a strike. We're in the bottom of eight. And Mazzola with a home run and four driven in. Kraut will come set. The 0-1. Swung on, chopper off the mound, back up the middle for a base hit. They're going to wave in Allen. He makes the turn at third, up with the ball, Smith. The throw home is cut, and sliding into second is Mazzola. Scoring standing is Allen, and it's 5-2 to two Winnipeg. Josh Mazzola with an RBI single, and the Gold Eyes get a run in the bottom of the eighth inning. That is big, big, big. And Mazzola's fifth run batted into the year. And Mazzola will have his second hit today. And the batter is Rich Carpenter. Let's have a look at trades and transactions real quick here in the eighth. Brought to you by the Animal Hospital Manitoba. We are a full-service veterinary hospital that also provides behavioral and nutritional counseling. The Animal Hospital of Manitoba, we treat your pet as if they were our own. First pitch to Carpenter, sent down the third base line off the end of the bat, and it tucks inside the third base bank. Gets down the line, Rico Washington couldn't make a play on it. In to score is Mazzola from second, and scoring. Mazzola with a double is Carpenter. A little cue shot that got by Rico Washington at third. Carpenter runs great. Klein picked up the ball, he had a long way to run. And the Gold Eyes have scored two in the inning. And Carpenter ends up with an RBI double out of that. His seventh run batted into the year. Mazzola scores easily with one away here. And David Naradowski, the batter. And the Gold Eyes lead it six to two. Carpenter put it off the end of the bat, rolled her down the third base line, tucked her inside the bag by Washington, and it died halfway down the line. In left, long run for Klein. Mazzola scores easily. And then the throw eventually goes to second, but Carpenter was in there sliding safely. First pitch to Naradowski is in there for a strike. And Naradowski won for three today. Well, Kansas City released left-handed pitcher Christian Kowalchuk and placed infielder Bo Stoker on the disabled list. And the 0-1. Down and away, one ball, one strike. Lincoln traded right-handed pitcher Chandler Barnard to River City in the Frontier League to complete an earlier trade between the two teams. One ball, one strike, the pitch. Swung on, that's hammered down the left field line toward the corner, way back, and it is foul. 
Stayed in the ballpark, but foul. Just about landed on the warning track. So some deep power there from David Naradowski, who's one for three today. But a foul ball. St. Paul activated right-handed pitcher Danny Gutierrez from the disabled list. And Wichita signed infielder Tommy Fitzgerald. That is trades and transactions for the Animal Hospital of Manitoba today. We treat your pet as if they were our own. We're in the bottom of eight. Gold Eyes lead at 6-2. Two Two runs have scored in this eighth inning. And now Will Kraut will step off, and Rich Carpenter will back up to check up at second. Aronofsky waggling the bat. He has four hits in 12 trips on the homestand. One-two. He is down and away. Two balls and two strikes. Yankees beat Detroit today 5-1. Toronto over Boston 5-1. Tampa doubled Baltimore 8-4. And the White Sox doubled Seattle 4-2. 2-2 pitch. Swung on. Chopper over the mound. Back up the middle to his left. Haynes knocked it down and then couldn't find it. Took a bit of a bad hop on him. Naradowski across the bag without a throw. And that'll be an infield single. And then Haynes thought that maybe Carpenter was going to make the turn and try to score from 30. Did not. He holds tight there. The Gold Eyes have strung together three straight hits off of Will Kraut. The closer for the Gary South Shore Railcats. And now, top of the order, Price Kendall. Four hits for Winnipeg in the inning. They have ten on the afternoon now. And they lead it by four at six to two. First pitch is down and away, ball one. Nobody loosening the bullpen for Gary. It will be likely Kraut's game to finish. Old eyes are three outs away. There's one out here in the bottom of eight. Runners on the corners. They can add on. And a fake to third. Now a throw to second. They're going to get Naradowski. So a good move there by Kraut. And Naradowski gets caught stealing 1-4. So now there's two away. The old Little League play that Major League Baseball is likely going to outlaw next year. Fake to third, and then they got Naradowski moving off the bag at first. The pitch swung on, chopper out towards short. Fielded by Haynes. It was a high chopper, but he pulled it down to the shortstop. Throws to first base, and they get Kendall. And that is it for the Gold Eyes in the bottom of the eighth inning. Two runs, four hits, one left. We'll go to the ninth. Last chance coming up for Gary. Cooper, Klein, and Massaro. 9-1-2. and two. They need four to tie, five to take the lead. We'll see what happens when we come back. Make sure you do on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Yes, hello. Can I get someone to assist me in the digital camera department, please? I've been waiting for 20 minutes, and I'd like to buy this camera before it becomes obsolete. If you've got camera questions, Don's Photo has answers. So why buy from a box store? You'll find that same camera at the same low price at Don's, minus the confusion. Visit donsphoto.com or stop by one of our three Winnipeg stores, and let's talk photography. When Winnipegger's stuff exceeds their space, why do so many rely on Storageville? It's so convenient. With two prime locations, 830 Waverly and 123 Reinders at Stapon Road. Access to your locker is really easy. It's totally secure. Every unit is alarmed and video monitored every minute, every day. My house should be so clean. They even have a free cube van to stick your stuff in. Storageville, where Winnipeg stores. Learn more about their wow factors at storageville.ca. The Field of Dreams Foundation helps kids in need by supporting children's charities. I'm Tony Fletcher, president of the Field of Dreams Foundation, urging you to help out by picking up our special coupon book at Shaw Park for just $5. It's packed with $100 in savings at popular ballpark concessions and local restaurants, or you can pledge an amount per Gold Eyes strikeout in the Fillmore Riley Case for Kids program. Learn more at goldeyes.com. Thanks to you, the Field of Dreams Foundation continues to make kids' dreams come true. 
never miss the action with live Gold Eyes coverage on TSN 1290. Now, back to the voice of the Gold Eyes, here's Paul Edmonds. Well, we go to the ninth inning. David Cooper to lead it off for Gary. Winnipeg is in front, 6-2. to two. It's Cooper, Klein, and Massaro. 9-1-2. and two. To face Nick Carr, Gold Eyes adding on with maybe a couple of insurance runs. And the bottom of the eighth, we go to the ninth. Three outs away are the Gold Eyes from a real good homestand and a series win. First pitch to Cooper is in there for a strike. He's 0 for 2 with a walk today. Six runs, ten hits, three errors. For Winnipeg, two runs, six hits. The pitch is inside one and one for Gary. Cooper is lined out to second, popped out to second, and walked. Told you the White Sox doubled up on Seattle 4-2 today. Tampa Bay beat Baltimore 8-4. Toronto over Boston 5-1. The Yankees beat Detroit 5-1. Pitch on the outside edge for a strike, and it's 1-2. Cooper thought that that was outside. And Kansas City shut out Oakland 2-0. Seventh inning, Minnesota leading Cleveland 4-2. And in the sixth, Texas in front of the Angels 2-1, trying to end a four-game losing skid. On the Manitoba Blue Cross, out of town scoreboard. 1-2. Breaking ball is low, 2-2. Two two. In the National League today, Atlanta got by Washington 3-2. Miami over Philadelphia 5-1. Zambrano the win. Carlos is 4-3. Houston came back to beat Cincinnati 5-3. 2-2 pitch. Swung on, hit down the third baseline. To his right, a backhanded pickup by Ramon. Good strong throw to first. In time and right into the glove of DeCaster. He didn't have to move. One away. And the batter is Adam Klein. Pittsburgh beat Milwaukee 6-5. In the seventh inning, Colorado leading the Dodgers, 3-0. In the fifth, San Francisco leading the Cubs, 1-0, 5-35 today. Arizona at San Diego, 7-0-5 tonight, St. Louis at the Mets. First pitch to Klein is inside, ball one. One down, Gary down to their final two outs. 6-2, the Gold Eyes are in front. These teams will not see each other again till August. Pitch is inside, 2-0. Klein, one for four today. Had a double back in the fourth. Two balls, no strikes. The pitch is outside, 3-0. Now the Gold Eyes today have walked five rail cats. And Carr has fallen behind Klein at 3-0. The pitch is outside, ball four, make that six. One out free pass here, and Mike Massaro the batter. For Carr, his second walk of the afternoon. And Massaro will step up and in from the left-hand side. He's two for four today. He had a base hit in the seventh when Mike Rohde was thrown out at home with two away then. The inning. Runner on the move. Pitch is low. No throw. Head first slide and Klein steals base number six on the year. Breaks up the double play possibility. One ball and no strikes. Five straight balls thrown by Nick Carr. And the 1-0. Outside, two balls and no strikes. Well, you wonder if the Gold Eyes are thinking about any just-in-case down there. Craig James might be that. Carr will come set. The 2-0 swung on, fouled away, and it's 2-1 and one as that gets out of play. Down the left field line. I mean, Nick Carr is your closer. 
And if you're Rick Forney, you don't want to have an itchy trigger, trigger finger for sure. I mean, Nick Carr's your guy, but at the same time, you've seen Gary in this script before. Pitch is swung on, bounced out towards short. Up with a Naradowski, throws to first. Not in time! And the runner is safe. Naradowski went to his left, and pretty good runner in Mike Massaro. And he beats it out for an infield single. And here comes Bill Pulsifer. I think Naradowski thought he had a little bit more time. Still a tough play. It was bang, bang at first base. And the gold eyes have not got much from Mike O'Leary today over at first. And Bill Pulsifer out to have a little mound meeting with the entire infield. And now we'll walk off. Brian Cole will be the batter. He drew a walk. His first trip. As he came in to pinch hit. Or as a replacement for Mike Coles, who was ejected in the sixth by home plate umpire Chaz Tadola. Still probably going back from that first inning called third strike when Coles was at the plate. Carr will come set. First pitch is inside ball one. One ball and no strikes. 6,149 here today. 61-49. The 1-0. Swung on, chopper out toward third. It is a fair ball. Fielded there by Ramon, and he throws it away down the right field line. A run will come in to score. And Gary will have runners at second and third base. The ball was called fair. Ramon looked around and then tried to hurry the throw to get Kolb and airmailed it over first base down the right field line. And in to score is Adam Klein. And the Gold Eyes are all of a sudden leading by three and the tie and run coming to the plate for Gary with one away. And Massaro gets all the way to third. Kolb is at second base on that. And they're going to charge an error, E5. That'll be the Goldeyes' fourth error of the afternoon. And here's Rico Washington, who's 0 for 4 today. With a home run and 11 driven in. First pitch, swung on, shot down the left field line, and twisting out of play, foul strike one. Well, one in, two on, another error, the fourth of the afternoon for Winnipeg. And all of a sudden, the tying run is at the plate here for Gary. The 0-1, breaking ball is high, one and one. One ball and one strike. Washington has flown out, hit into a fielder's choice, bounced out and popped out. One ball, one strike. First base is open. Runners at second and third. And Gary will get some people up in the bullpen. Washington is one for 13 in the series. But a former major leaguer with some power to put one out. Wind is still blowing from right to left. Washington, a left-handed batter. One ball, one strike. And Carr leaning over after he and Luis Allen had a quick chat. Comes set after getting the sign, the pitch. Swung on, fouled back, and it's a ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Nick Carr seeing action here in this series for the first time. He hasn't pitched since Wednesday night. The pitch, breaking ball is just inside. And it's two and two, good breaking ball. 
Two balls, two strikes. And Rico Washington waggling the bat. Card comes set. 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball swung on. Come back or over the mound. Out towards second. And off the glove of Kendall. A run will score. And Gary's made it 6-4. to four. And we'll see how they score that. A chopper over the mound. Carr couldn't come down with it. Kendall went to backhanded. Off the heel of the glove. A run will score. And there's two runs in for Gary. And it's 6-4. to four. And Washington is safely aboard at first base. And here is Brian Kolb. Who gets to third base. Washington to first. Sean Smith is the batter now with only one out. Gold Eyes cannot make a play, and self-destruction is on the menu right now. First pitch. Swung on. Chopper left side foul. And the Gold Eyes will get up. I believe Craig James in the bullpen. And that's who's throwing. And the Gary Social Railcats have the tying run aboard. Smith is 0 for 4 today and 0 for 8 in the series. A right-handed batter. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. They're going to score that Rico Washington. Comebacker over the mound. An infield single. And he'll get an RBI out of that. Nothing in two to Sean Smith. Kyle Haynes. Stands on deck. Carr comes set the pitch. Breaking ball swung on and missed. And that is strikeout number two for Nick Carr. And out number two in the inning. And Gary down to their final out. And it's Kyle Haynes who homered yesterday will step up. He's one for two today with two walks and a run scored. And he'll bat from the left-hand side. Chris Allen is getting loose in the bullpen for Gary. Craig James for Winnipeg. Now the fans trying to help out. Carr will come set. First pitch to Haynes. There's a fastball that's low. Ball one. 6-4. Winnipeg in front. Gary has runners on the corners with two away in the top of this ninth inning. Haynes is struck out, walked, singled and scored, and walked again. And a pitch is low, 2-0. and oh. Mike Rohde stands on deck. Carr leans over and will come set. And the 2-0. -oh. Half a swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. It's 2-1. and one. Haynes could not hold up on that. Two balls and one strike. Six thousand one hundred and forty-nine in attendance today. Some have departed. Car comes set again. The two-one is on the outside edge for a strike, and it's two and two. And Kyle Haynes has had to remind Chaz Tadola that that was only strike two. Our home plate umpire ringing him up like the game was over. Two balls and two strikes to Haynes. Carr will lean over to get the sign. He'll come set with runners on the corners. Allen sets up outside the pitch. Low. No throw to second base as Rico Washington trots down to second base. And are they going to give a stolen base? Yes, they are on that. So runners at second and third here. Three and two to Haynes. A full count. Both runners in scoring position. The payoff pitch. Breaking ball outside. He walked him. And the bases are loaded here. With two away in the ninth from Mike Rohde. And Nick Carr has walked three. And Rohde will step up and in from the left-hand side. And Rohde was the first batter that Nick Carr faced, and he drew a walk. And they're trying to see if 
Craig James is ready to go in that bullpen. Nine, number four, Mike Rody. And Rody will step in from the left-hand side. And Carr will come set, bases loaded, two away the pitch. Swung on, foul back to the screen for strike one. That was at 93, that fastball on the gun here. Nothing and one to Rody. He's one for three today with a walk. Both of his hits have been doubles. He gets one of those. Gary ties and maybe takes the lead. The 0-1 is just off the table and it's one ball one strike one ball one strike six four winnipeg in front but hanging on here gary with a base runner at every base with two away car will come set and the one one swung on foul back to the screen and gary down to their final strike on the afternoon and we'll see if nick Carr can put away mike Rody. Tense at the velodrome again. One and two to Rudy. Bases loaded, two away. Carr back to the top of the hill. He'll lean over to get the sign from Allen. He'll come set with the right-hander. The one-two, breaking ball swung on, off the foot of Carr. It bounces around. A run will score. Carr will track the baseball down but have no play to throw it anywhere. And it's six to five. And could the rail catting be on here in downtown Winnipeg this afternoon? And Craig Maddox, the batter. An infield single for Mike Rohde off the foot and up in the air of Nick Carr. A run will score to make it 6-5, and the bases are loaded. And Craig Maddox will step in. He struck out his first trip against Carr. Two away, and the tying run 90 feet away. 6-5, Winnipeg in front. Carr comes set. First pitch is on the outside edge for a strike. Well, you've had two... Three infield singles, a walk, an error, another walk. I mean, it is a rail catting of epic proportions here this afternoon. Car comes set, the 0-1. Breaking ball is off the table. One and one. And the home plate umpire hasn't called that pitch all day. Yeah, there's been three infield singles, two walks, and an error. It is a rail catting here. 6-5, 6-5, the gold eyes are hanging on. Bases loaded, two away, the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. And it's 1-2 and two as Maddox waves right through that. One ball, two strikes. Carr trying to close it down for the save. It would be his fourth. But he's really had to work to try to get to this point to do it. 1-2 and two to Maddox. Car comes set. And the pitch. Breaking ball is outside. Two and two. Two balls and two strikes from Nick Carr to Craig Maddox, the left-handed swinging catcher here. This one is over three hours old. 6-5 Winnipeg. Car comes set. And the 2-2. Breaking ball wrapped out toward first, but foul. And it's still two balls and two strikes. Six runs, ten hits, and four errors for the Gold Eyes today. Five runs, nine hits for Gary. There's two away, and they have the bases loaded. Outfield is deep. Two and two to Maddox. Car comes set. Allen sets up outside. 2-2, 2-2, fastball, swung on and missed. He got him on strikes, and that ends the ball game. Hallelujah on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, boy. 
It was right down to the wire. Gary scores three in the inning. The Gold Eyes were not very good. They made an error and walked two and couldn't make a play defensively. And Carr got into trouble and pitched out of it and records his fourth save. And the Gold Eyes win the series two games to one. And they go five and one on this homestead. Gary bats around, sending nine men to the plate in the ninth. Three runs on three hits. A Gold Eye error, and they leave three. The Railcats stranded 12. We will wrap it up as we go with the final score, Winnipeg 6, Gary 5, totals in the postgame show. Four ten, fourteen forty. Make every drop count. Swing into spring at Salisbury House, and you could be watching the Gold Eyes swing their bats free. Sal's is proud to introduce Extras, four great new taste sensations. Swing into spring and try new Extras, and you'll receive a free high five Gold Eyes ticket voucher at all participating Salisbury House locations. But there's more. You also get to enter to win a Gold Eyes suite to watch a home game in style with family and friends. So swing into spring with new Extras at Salisbury House. Your house, your food, your way. Fix it, build it, or buy it. You've been all coyotes, and then it just the. You've been all coyotes, and then it just the. Teach him his crap. You've been all coyotes and then. You've been all. Teach him his craft and he seems to be getting a little more comfortable out there with each time, each pass he starts. So hopefully he can build off what he did the last start. He just. Teach him his craft, and he seems to be getting a little more comfortable out there with each time, each pass he starts. So hopefully he can build off what he did the last start. He just... Or in the bottom of the eighth, excuse me. Give up three in the ninth and win it by one run. It was uh, tense at the velodrome here today. Five runs scored in the final two innings. Gold Eyes win it. Uh, it was nail-biting time. 6-5 the final score over Gary. And Winnipeg improves to 11-4. and four. As John Weber wants to get moving, apparently. So we'll talk to you, Rick Forney.
teach him his craft, and he's seen. He been all coyotes, and then it just the flick of a switch turned to the Thrashers because, in reality, that is what did happen. Mark Mark gained permission to talk to the to the spirit, hadn't spoken to them. He been all coyotes, and then it just the flick of a switch turned to the Thrashers. him his craft and he seems to be getting a little more comfortable out there with each time each passing start so hopefully teach him his craft and he seems to be teach him his craft and he seems to be getting a little more comfortable out there with each time each passing start so hopefully he can build off what he did the last start he just the key for him is consistently throwing strikes trying to stay ahead in the count and don't put so much pressure on himself because he, he does that by you know pitching it him his craft and he seems to be getting a little more comfortable there.